Hey, everybody. Hey, we're live. Cool. We're on the internet. We are the Nerd Knights. I'm DMing uh, Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> campaign. Yeah, it's been a while since we played like a not like a yeah. skippy campaign. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing that. Um, we're doing Star Team 6 in my little world of Rot. And uh, as a refresher, I'm just going to have everyone introduce their character, uh, race, class, however y'all want to do that. We can start with uh, Miss Jessica over here. We've right. done this one before? Yeah, we've, we've, uh, this is the 11th episode of this one. Oh, wow. Okay. We just haven't done it in a while. Uh, Blomstun, Barbarian, Half Orc, Orphan, Super Gay. Super gay. Um, would you say that you're in a relationship or just a fling with uh, Oh Mash? Oh. <laughs> don't make them put oh, don't do that. Him. You don't have to put labels on it. Don't I'm just adding to the spotlight. The that. audience who's non existent <laughs> it's just me wants to know. Blomstone might be too dumb. Blomstone to is too <laughs> dumb to They <laughs> literally <laughs> rocked the boat. <laughs> I mean, that's just what happened. That doesn't he doesn't know what relationships are. He All just right. knows things happen and they either keep happening or they stop or happening. Beautiful, beautiful half work barbarian. <laughs> Dumb as a stump. Yeah. Box of rocks. Yep. And Andrew? I'm playing Panapan, the half elf <laughs> artificer <laughs> extraordinaire. Um not an orphan. We could say he is in a romance with Smash. No. He's, he, he's just writing about it and is going to profit off of it. <laughs> like it. Um, he's using it for inspiration. Uh, did not have a tragic backstory and dead parents. Had a very happy backstory and nice adoptive parents until somebody decided to give him a tragic backstory about baby murder. I know what you're talking wow. About. <laughs> you just turned the least edgy character to the edgy character. Did you? Did I give you your second dream or you weren't here? Um, I don't think I was here. I have my list of dreams somewhere. You have two? The last one I remember was actively being murdered by oh, what I'm assuming about Fuck! Friends. I don't have your dreams! Oh, well, I'll do that later. I did uh, figure out that my. Uh, Wait. No, wait, Andrew knows, I don't think Pan knows, what my parents were and what uh, Pan was before he was murdered by his parents. Beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. You weren't murdered by your parents. Who knows? I mean, I'm sure they brought me back. Something brought me back. I thought you were rescued and you were just that close to being killed. But... No, I'm pretty sure I was murdered. Yeah, he was. He got killed. Straight up murked by the parents. I don't remember this. Yeah, let's see. Uh... Now I'm sad I don't have that second one. Oh. It was dark. So yeah, I the, la it. the last thing from my dream yeah. is she cries even harder, pours the rest of the jar down your throat, and blows your mouth shut. As life wanes, she opens the jar of beetles, and you feel your life escaping. So yeah, I was oh, yeah. murdered by my parents. You were murdered by your. And then I didn't make the next wisdom save, and something's blacked out. I could probably read it if I held up. Before. Don't cheat yourself. And who are you playing, sir? I mean, I'm Starly, baby. I'm a purveyor of. Natural remedies and pharmaceutical agents, and I'm a fearbog. I'm a druid of green, yeah, nice. and a cleric of the light. And I am the not quite bosom, but almost mid ribs companion of my boy. Actually, I'm probably taller than he is. Are you in a relationship? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean. Oh, man. Well, I mean, he was with that Noel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> who we all murdered. That can't be. And proven, the child. And or disproven the, the similarities are there. Roll a. Uh, <laughs> Starleaf. Yeah. Roll a D10 for me. Hey, y'all shut the fuck up. I'm rolling a D10. <laughs> That's a both thing that we're buying. Oh, well, I know I'm here. What the fuck? I'm posting Any modifiers? No, it's really just yeah. for me. I'm posting it for the random people on Facebook Two. that might. Two? Already, already okay, good, good enough. There might but be two other bastards. That's bad. <laughs> Surprise two is a low number. Blomstan is my bosom companion. 
and bodyguard and general bank and is my dear dear friend i'm also his drug dealer you're a drug dealer to a lot of folks aren't yeah you? but that's a so to deal he would have to exchange money well, he uh, did. He no, networks. He he's I've networking. Favors. And you away a lot of girls. I, it, you really have. Everything you sell. Now, yes, I got a business license pursuant to <laughs> Trivans. Yeah, I got the shit written down. Fuck you guys. Um, well, he. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's in here somewhere. We've started this. Sandra! I don't know if you want to interrupt. Playing uh, a tiefling oh, way of mercy monk named <laughs> Zilch. Right. I think I got your business name too. Probably. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Ah, pursuant to forms A3 <laughs> and yeah. 1113 R oh, yeah. of the Trivan City Council. Yep. No, that makes sense. And I, I'm, I'm trying to fund my business and legalize or make sure that it maintains. Yeah. I, I thought we got you the legal. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm legal. But I know, you got your little, your legal. little buddy has ran your business for however the fuck long y'all been going. <laughs> uh, well, uh, hopefully, she's been running my that's business, right. apparently attached to his business. Pharmaceuticals and uh, massaging go hand in hand, quite literally. It's like a really, really awesome spa, but when you come out of your trip and you realize it's you're in a fucking, like, dirty-ass... It's the weirdest happy alley or something. <laughs> Who knows? You don't know. You haven't been back in a while. You don't know how it's set up. Like Loki gives a start and my drugs give the ending. There you go, baby. Nah. You're welcome. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Uh, Shiny boy. I'm playing Theron Dalapan. Uh, a uh, Eladrin Ranger. It's level five. Uh... And I just had to pepper in the fact that uh, one of my flaws is I hate deep gnomes. Yeah. Because I got in a fight with you that one. You do have market. deep gnomes, and that dude. Oh, yeah, old. I enlarged him. And he... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got in a fight Jerry, with the fucking deep gnomes. Jerry whooped yo ass. Yeah, like, because he was enlarged, right? So Jerry yeah. picked him up, and then, like, his feet were like, you motherfucker. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then. I had and make it a fair fight. fight. I made a bigger, so he was just like, what happens when Ian gets in a fight with him? No. No, Ian ends up pretty quick. Because they, they put their hand on my head yeah. and then just swing him. <laughs> but then I kick him in the nuts. Oh, I thought it was more of a dunk. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm out. Then I'm out. Bobby. Um, yeah, I'm playing Gordon. I'm a level 5 rogue. Yeah. Uh, Furbolg rogue, so unique combination. What's Gordon's real name? Gordon. Then what's Gordon's nickname? Your name? Gordon, Gordon. Gordon. Cowboy. Oh, right. forgot about that. Yeah, so there's been I dreams and shit, and then I can't remember what it was. It wasn't the dreams that made me want those, or was it the way you rolled in your dream? In the dream, okay. The way you escaped by the literal skin of your ass. Okay, so yeah, my character just is like hell bent. Like I need to get some assless chaps <laughs> that you will wear on stream. Andrew, you need to sort that out. Oh, I have a pattern okay. of leather already. <laughs> um, I mean, take what leather I have that you need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just cut a hole. Uh, <laughs> last time in this campaign, we had the beach slash shopping episode. So everyone bought stuff. Yep. And y'all stayed at an inn. Shit. Let me... I think I have my documents here. Let me pull out my notes. So unprepared. Y'all are at an inn in the Iron Holds. Uh, Gordon, you have had a pool to go handle some business in Duskhold. Oh, yeah. Um, and King Barnabas of the Iron Holds has also mentioned that they have not had contact with Duskhold, which is a um, kind of deeper inlaid city in this mountain uh, called the Iron Holds. I think uh, I went with you as like a bodyguard. Yeah, y'all didn't have contact. Uh, with, they haven't had contact with them for a couple weeks. So the king uh, asked y'all to investigate if y'all wanted to. He said there would be boons and prizes or whatever for that. And um, you've had a... Uh, give me a um, 
wisdom save for me. Let's see. Okay. As y'all wake up at this end. Both like, of us or just him? Uh, just Gordon. Okay. Gordon Blue. That's the damn nickname I gave you. Yeah. Gordon Blue. Yeah, you gave me that nickname. I don't know if that's actually the character's it's nickname, but that's what you've been nice. calling him. His yeah. name is Gordon Gordon. You. How, how many pieces of the, the orb thing do I have? I have three, right? Three. Okay. Um, don't you sit did you, uh... Can I see your second dream? Don't know where my shit is. Okay. Well, I don't even know if I have a second dream. You do. You gave it to me, I just don't... The only one that doesn't have it is him, because he wasn't here. You don't just throw it off the top of your head, do you? Huh? You don't remember it off the top of your head, do you? I need to see what he rolled. Mm-hmm. Because I think he succeeded, but... Uh, You're gonna have to sit down with me. I'm I remember like, what all of me in my dream. You keep giving him a, a regular bite. Yeah. Oh, I've got, 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 got a twelve on the list of things. I've got so much stuff. Same size. Uh, it's it's him sitting down. Mm -hmm. You know, we're staying, I believe, yeah, at Silpy huh? Drunken End. <laughs> I think that yep. was the name of the tavern. What? what? I found it. Damn it. Silpy's Drunken End. Oh yeah, I remember it. Like. I remember Drunken end, not in. You got a uh, twelve. Yeah, I got twelve on the list. Well, Andrew, Andrew, the last time I had okay. twelve was when you posted the um, red rocket. Yeah, Ian, yeah. if you could just uh, match me what the third would you have? Uh, painted uh, face. I, can't I don't know. have my notes. Yeah, I don't have that journal with me. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, there was a role you had to make, where basically your deity was happy and granted you. Use of the orb. Yeah, so I, it's I, very I, important that we find that. To know I, I got, I got what the orb itself does, but there's one piece that I have, and it's, and it's got something else. But the third piece I can't find. You probably got to do the. Oh, I missed the it. Okay, I don't know if y'all pass the third. Like, I, I get, we're like, at the end. Y'all are at Silpy's Drunken End. Is Pan anywhere near me? Uh. Pan. I don't. Pan. How did y'all arrange the rooms? How would y'all have arranged the rooms? You I, get a single, double, stand. right? Match. Oh, we split the party, right? Because we're off going somewhere else. No, yeah. no. I was just saying, hey, y'all did that to go down there. at the beginning. Loki probably oh, okay. went somewhere entirely different. I just remembered like, that we, me and, and Bob split off for a little bit, <laughs> just because that's how I thought we were still off. No, I think yeah, I was no, just like, no. y'all regroup. Let's go this way because I want to get to Dust Cold. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I have a personal reason why. I'm going to Dust Cold. So but you, I didn't tell anybody that. I just yeah. trying to get everybody to go to Dust Cold. Gordon, when you wake up, you're. uh you had put all your equipment away, you know. Um, y'all were y'all felt pretty secure. You're in a major metropolitan part of the uh, hold. Y'all are in the East Hold right now, which is like the shopping like mm -hmm. capital of this entire uh, mountain system. And uh, you had, when you went to sleep, you put all your stuff away, and you when you wake up, you're holding that shard, and your hands are bleeding. Oh, that bitch. And, uh, you just kind of roll like a, um, roll an insight check. Insight check? Yeah. Okay. Twelve. A twelve? Two twelves in a row. Yeah. Two twelves. You have any, is that the modifier? Yeah, that's uh, okay. ten plus two. Um, you, you don't take any damage from it, but, like, you're, you get this, it's like, the last time you had... It's, you kind of woke up, and it's... You, you you know you put the dagger. You put everything. And you just slept in kind of your small clothes part. Past the chaps. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you don't know how it got into your hand. But it's yeah. in your hand. You're holding it. They're, yeah. they're bleeding a little bit. And you're like, you need to get there. You just... You have this intense need to get there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because uh, I was about to ask why, but um, that makes sense. Uh mm -hmm. When I'll come, it says I'm down two health points. It's from when. That's from when. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Um, and then what did you want to know if you were next to Pan? Yeah, I was. Um, usually I, I, when I wake up in the morning, I do an Arcana. Yeah. On my orb, and Pan is usually hanging around somewhere because he's curious about too. Roll. So my Arcana is better than this. Yeah. Roll a. Check. Um, I think this was part of the checks and stuff too that I was going to start doing. Roll. Who's doing the Arcana check? Uh, I usually actually just let Pan do it. You let Pan do it yeah, with advantage? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll a uh, Arcana check with advantage. Super advantage? 19. 19. Okay. When 
it's been different the uh, the first couple times you've kind of analyzed this yourself, studied the glyphs, the runes, and everything. And um, this time, when it like when you've kind of traced your hands on it, um, this time, give me a uh, actually yeah, you go ahead and give me an inside check as well. Hybrid. 16. 16? Okay. So when you're kind of tracing your hands on it, you get a, uh, a, like, uh, it's like a really negative feedback. And it seems to be rejecting you as you analyze it. Story of my life. <laughs> you don't take any damage, but you just kind of feel like a, if like I a shunt. Up. Um, and you have, like, a little bit of a headache. Um, that's what happens when you analyze the orb. And Starleaf is kind of pointing out, you know, some of the stuff that he's kind of recognized with his different style of magic and stuff like that. But it it seems that um, the person helming this needs to be the person who All right. has it. I'm going to take a look at it in myself with my garbage ass intellect. <laughs> but you can still help. Yeah. No, right. Well, you can set up some kind of containment stuff because it didn't. I mean, I think it up as your five and. Oh, oh yeah. Same what I need. Give me that bit of load. Wow! Mitch Dirk Vantage. And, uh. Want some? Well, that would be a 17. Yeah. yeah. Join me. <laughs> 17. 17. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking at the third piece, so I just don't know what's going on. When I use the okay. drink, I really like the glyphs. Oh, you did? You said these were okay, right? Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. It just, to me, it just tastes like flat Coke. I love diet soda, so mm. it's my favorite. That's weird. So good. When I drink a full Coke, my stomach hurts. Oh, man. needs ice. It's like full Um, 17. As you're kind of studying it, the last couple. How long have you had this? Days or whatever, maybe a week or so that you've had it. Um, you've kind of let Pan uh, do the majority of it, so you're not as like concentrated on it, uh, familiar with it as you'd like to be. You don't gain any new knowledge from this class. Only that it doesn't like Pan. Yeah, so he, he lets you know it kind of shunted him. Like, he felt like a it was almost like a psychic kind of rejection. Well, that's good. All right. Um, you can go ahead and roll an insight check as well. Oh, well done, sir. Nah. That was like a six. With advantage or the strength? There's no low end on it. Yeah, yeah. just a standard, standard inside. Nineteen. You kind of get the same sense. Um, as y'all are discussing the orb. You, blah, 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 blah. There it is, Pepeloki. Um, you get the same sense as you're discussing the orb and checking on it. Um, you realize it's more amenable to you, um, that you need to be handling these checks kind of more, being the primary kind of point of focus on it. Weird. So, you get the sense, like, the more powerful it is, the more attached it is to you, um, and that's probably why this is... But Does yeah, it make me feel good when I hold the third piece? Like it's... Do I get kind of a bust of life? Start calling me depression. <laughs> it's an erection. Up. I mean, that's I mean, a good character in time. <laughs> Who's that mean? Well, but Starling... Come to the character the James. React properly. <laughs> the character formerly known as James gets an erection. Oh, that guy, is, he's there, but that just kills you people. Yeah. Yeah, that game's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of the games. Are... 
Uh, like, I was going to straight make me like a monk cleric, but Andrew come up with this damn uh, pose with a shallow cow, and I was like, no, that's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's glorious. I still got to make my fucking custom class because I want to do for that guy. For me. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to invent a tap, tap of the ankle biter <laughs> and uh, the grifter. I'm, I'm the probably a grifter in the world. It's going to happen. Yeah. I'm gonna take my native knowledge of computer science and just. And I'm gonna develop super high tech sending stones so you can watch those things on. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and nothing else on that third piece. Nothing else on that third piece right now. Maybe I need Seems to like it's behind the wall. Um, and it's just affecting them too, because they're the two looking at mm -hmm. it. I mean, y'all don't even, you guys don't even know about it. Yeah, we don't know about it. We're not even in the same room. Yeah. That's right. I, I was in a separate room. I mean, Blum, I don't, I don't have any secrets with Blum. So are Pan and Loki good. just bunking yeah, separately? Them two are bunking together? Or y'all two are bunking together? I believe so, yeah. That's probably how it's going. I, yeah. where, where I, I honestly don't remember where my character the style goes. I Blum thought it was still along with him, but... Y'all are probably... Y'all go somewhere, style if it's right behind him. Y'all kind of come down for, for breakfast. It's some kind of mushroom soup, brothy... Party super good thing. I mean, that's what's being served. Who met me? I do too. Like creamy mushrooms. No, cream of mushrooms good. I was just thinking like mushroom and water oil. Oh, it's mushroom, mushroom and like uh, beef ball. <laughs> yeah, the owner's like, we can get you mushroom in boiled water. That's, that's, that's what, what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. You want that? I mean, I've, I've got some mushrooms. We've got high to mushrooms in our <laughs> I mean, feel free to use the kitchen, man. Shit, it's fine. Mushrooms? I mean, I mean, mushrooms. No, I was <laughs> talking character wise. Oh, okay. I thought that's what I saw in her freezer. Y'all freezer. Yeah, you know what? Wait, hold on. You know who no, I am. No, these are mushrooms. We need to have a weekend. Um, <laughs> From what I saw? Yeah, you do. That would be fantastic. Ah. Uh, she ain't doing nothing with them either. I think she forgot them. <laughs> I'm just going to sneak over. <laughs> oh, no, this one. I, I'll make it. Come on. Do you want to make some funky mushroom stuff or no? No, not, not here. Okay. I, I don't have a lot of the black dust left. Because you give it away to everyone, bro. Oh, well, we've been experimenting on it, too. That's true. But, yeah, y'all kind of all meet down at the at a table for breakfast. And, and we say, and finish chopping down... Leland's tiny hut into his ritual book. I don't remember how much I had done before we left. Two hundred pages? No, no, that's my uh, <laughs> smutty novel. This Give me. Novel. <laughs> smutty novel. I remember. I think I got two hours done. Roll me like an Arcana check. DC like ten. We'll make it low. Twenty-two. Okay, you have it done. Cool. Can you cast third level spells? With virtual caster, I can. Okay. It, you can cast uh, any ritual mark spell. No, it's because um, I don't think it finds you your go level three. half your level rounded up. So okay, two and a half rounded up to three. So I can cast level three, uh, up okay. to level three spells at, if I have them in my ritual book. And right now, the only ones I have in my book, uh, comprehend languages, find familiar, and Leaven's tiny hut. All right, groovy. You well, got it. Reminds me, we have to go outside of town somewhere and cast your hut, so we can do that that spark dust thing we've been talking about. Oh yeah. So yeah, y'all are all at the breakfast table. Is there anything y'all want to discuss? Go over. Uh, y'all can all roll a perception check, except for you, Gordon. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Gordon. Twenty hands. Oh okay. Well, what did I be wearing my gloves again so they wouldn't see it? Oh, oh, oh. You wear gloves? Eight. Yeah. Well, he got a 22. So maybe. Look, why are your gloves all sticky? Oh, yeah. I don't. Oh, I, I see nothing. Okay. <laughs> you smell it. You said perception? Yeah. Look, some... well, I don't think I'm going to pass this check whatsoever. Yeah. Hey, perception. No. Much. No. Oh, yeah, you're hiding. Yeah. There's that whole weird ass ruin. Okay, so it's seven. Still not gonna be there. No, you're you're still high from the like the ride from like a week ago. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> when you were tripping balls. I was tripping. Lilky has consistently been tripping balls the entire time without taking any drugs. I don't know how it happened. It, it's Starly. He's just there. He just gives off a. He. Starly, we got a we got new. Leo. 
So at least that's the inside of her head bandwidth. Um, yeah. LSD. We gotta do like a custom paladin thing for Starly, where you give off that aura of 10 feet where everyone's just high or something. We're gonna make a custom spell for you. Like a, uh, instead of, Spirit Guardians is really, really good. So you wouldn't want to screw up Spirit Guardians. No. But, maybe like a lesser Spirit Guardians. have like an aura spell. Yeah. I don't know if Clarix is in there. Clarix, you know. We'll get you there. You're, uh, like, if, Wait. what we'll do... Because Paladin would not work for Starly. What we can do is we can get your, your spiritual weapon, since it's a pot leaf. <laughs> if you cast it at a high enough level, we'll give it some added effect or something. Hang on, y'all. Uh, purple purple haze. spiritual weapon. Huh? If you uh, surround it, purple haze. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Is it working? Although, I did my spiritual weapon. Okay, that's the whole... Yeah, that's Starly's spiritual weapon right there, y'all. New class. That's right the there. Yeah. The drug master. You found one? Is yeah, that I, a... It's on uh, the D&D wiki home. Uh, oh, home yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want to change the class, but it's sending me. <laughs> I might multi-class again. <laughs> Is it a cleric? No, it's a, it's a whole new whole new class. Oh, you said a whole new class. Okay. Yeah, cool. these are the D8. But yeah, so... Uh, Starleaf, Pan, y'all can kind of see like his glove, Gordon's gloves are a little stained. You can kind of smell blood a little bit, but that's it. I, I nudge Pan. <laughs> There's been multiple nights Pan has gone to bed with baby pain, so it's not good for him. <laughs> Loki's just not a morning person, clearly. Still very groggy. Still, it's like still, you can't get your tea here. Still not certain about these painting love and interlopers. Yeah, just discuss what y'all need to do for the day. Lana's like yawning and scratching. What are we stuff? doing today, babe? Do I don't have any plans. I have some. We were gonna do some black powder stuff. I felt at one point experiments that need to be done. I have some, some things I need to try to track down. Probably a library to figure out where to get some of these things. I think we should start making our way to Dust Bowl. Dust? What? That's where we gotta go. What, why do we gotta go to Dust What's in Dust Bowl? Remember, we were gonna go there. The reason was. The king offered y'all, he said they hadn't had contact with them for a while. So he offered oh. y'all prizes or some rewards. Yeah, y'all want, right. want rewards, we need right? More money. Yep. Yeah, yeah money. Money's a good thing. You know, the Iron Holds pays well. I got a thousand gold for a two week. I mean, this, trip. this place is kind of worth it to me. I can't sell anything again. But, I mean, what is? I mean, uh, where are the. Rathamir mines? Mm hmm. Where are they? They're further to the south of Mance. Is that. I mean, they're on. No, I'm just kidding. Is that our map? No, yeah. that is not the right. Woo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, they're over there, I think. I put them somewhere. The mines are. I mean, you don't. I don't know, Pan Nukes. Uh, he's from Trivan. He probably does. They're not that far from he, Trivan. He works in the library. Roll a history check for me, Pan. Geography probably was one of his studies. 14. 14. You know they're not at the top. Of like the schism, you know, they're at the bottom near the river, the saltwater river, the, the saltwater river. river, yeah, <laughs> that one, motherfucker. <laughs> Almost like the door that should have been there. I had y'all roll for this. You can shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the dice decided it was all salt water <laughs> because the schism cracked the world in half, and there wasn't any water there, and the ocean filled it in with salt. So there's your explanation. So. <laughs> Like, I've I been trying I to get James shake his it's all water. Water. with you. So the tide would have pushed it so far, but there's other rivers inflowing into the, the schism itself. So these things are mixing at one point. I, I know where it's at, too. It's on the map. And there are going to be some weird-ass animals yeah. in that place. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit in this world, y'all. Yeah, it's, it's like we're in a fucking fantasy world or something. <laughs> yeah, but they, they're pushing against each other. Yeah, like, dinosaurs rolling around. Humans rolling around. Like, 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 uh, 
there's dragons. dungeons, there's yeah, dragons and stuff. Right there. there are dungeons, too, but and there are dragons. That's another place y'all oh, yeah. can go. Yeah. <laughs> y'all can go to the, the Eversnow Temple and Monastery, see what's up there. Yeah. Y'all can go to Duskhold. I mean, we, we saw that, that fucking dragon thing. I don't know if we want to go to the Eversnow. I don't want to go. No. Also, it's probably cold. Yeah, I don't like it. It is cold. It is real fucking cold. Is there something wrong with cold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cold. Oh, it's cold. cold. That was scam. Uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> and true. It's hard to run a cold campaign in Texas. <laughs> and Unless it's winter or when our shit's we getting fucking frozen. We've got a business to take care of, too. So, I don't know what the hell I think getting. we need to prepare a bit more before we face the dragon. But... I mean... I'm not gonna face it. It's gonna face my ass as I'm running the fuck away. Oh. <laughs> or Gordon's ass is chaps. That too? Yeah. Oh, and and that would be a dust practice. You just get them to the... You just hear it in your head. It's like a... Dude. I like money. I'm sure all y'all like money. Money is in dust hole. Let's go dust hole. That sounds like a good, good plan. plan. I, I'm with you on that, uh, Gordon. Uh, uh, do any y'all? Do y'all like money? I mean, Blanc yes, Stanton does. So I'm I'm going with my boy since we're not really doing anything and I can't make any deals here, guys. <laughs> yeah, y'all ran into like one of the guard dudes who's a total dick to you. Dude. Yeah, I can't. Well, you also He's like you're not so unsure. No, it's one of the it's uh and from uh over, yeah, yeah they, they got, got kicked, kicked out of a store. store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll dig you kick out on the store. Yeah, because they were being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, shit happened. <laughs> uh, James was drunk. James, like, <laughs> lifted Charlie up Blomstan's thing, like, check this out. Like, oh, yeah. Look yeah, up Blomstan's, like, You can't like, do Blomstan's dong there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just go around showing dong. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what age you're in. That's <laughs> not okay, <laughs> man. I know. I'm, those are boots in there. Black. Y'all were gonna get like some weird. She uh, fork, wasn't she? You were trying to get some yeah. kind of like. Yeah. It was like some weird armor piece. Yeah. Oh, I think you I bought. I think we were trying to get a copy. It was my. It was my. Uh, my loincloth. Yeah, yeah. you got. Yeah. Did you buy the plus one yes. sparkling loincloth? Yeah. So your AC's we were, up by one. Yeah. Some shit like yes. that. Yes. And I, I, I have a very. And we pretty, wanted to make sure it fit. I, that's what it was. Pretty. Yeah. I wanted blue. I wanted. Y'all had like a whole dressing room you could have gone into, and you just left it. Like I need one for this thing here. I mean, look, I'm a cow. And then she so kicked I'm not a dog, but goddamn. <laughs> That's pretty much what he was like, damn. My was fucking like, Check this game out. I do with my coworkers. Everyone ended up rolling the D20 for dick sex. <laughs> <laughs> Did they actually have to? The highest was an 11. Is there a, is there a stat? The person, the person that like Pause this, rolling that one on dick size. No! Oh. <laughs> um, is, is there a stat modifier you can add to it or something? I, honestly, I oh, think it should make your roll. charisma down by one or something. It's like I don't a know. split, but a mini. Yeah. It's a little nub. Like is that, that a second belly button? No, I mean, like, you roll a d20. What stat do you add to it? Or just a straight d20? No, we just roll. had him roll a straight d20, no. man. You don't always have to have modifiers. I mean, that's a, that's a straight luck check. That's a, yeah, it was a luck roll, baby. <laughs> He like whipped it out in front of like a impress. I was like, bro. I was like, she whipped out her dick. I just, I told him I was like, I was like, she whipped out her dick and it's, it's so much bigger. She has the biggest dick you've ever seen. That's what I said. I want to go play game at his store. <laughs> meet up with these people. And be like, hey, we're gonna run another one. They're in the same world, man. Uh, <laughs> I want you to meet this guy, Stolly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So what do y'all want to do, man? I say we go to Dust Cult. Uh, well, we just spent all of our money shopping. Probably. Yeah, it's like that was set up. Cult. It's like it was set up to make How you spend all your still money. have Blom's I have two gold plush. Two? Two. I gave all mine to you because you're my fan. Damn. When I, <laughs> well, I, I said I spent all my money, I, I gave you all magic items. I have a two. Y'all are like y'all are pretty well. I well up. You gave right. me an idea from Templeton. Oh, that's true. Which but is, that item's super crazy. Though. It really, really is. No, I have are two gold. Is huh? level I have two yes. gold okay. and 
That was the idea. Two silver. I figured. So I have a total of four. But you have 1,200 gold. Yeah. You want to yeah. donate some to my I Need Spells Fund? I mean, we just bought a whole bunch of stuff with one family. That's true. And I'm just holding it. I don't make the decisions. That's what I have to say. Yeah, I think I paid for these rooms last night. I don't know if anyone knows this, but Blom Stan is always holding Always holding Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. He's got no pockets. He's a barbarian and a loin cloth. I don't know how he's holding everything. Uh, he's a pocket. Free yeah. Huh? Uh, uh, in pocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There? You oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the black strip's right there. No, no, I was just undoing the so prehensile so. piece. Yeah, that's, that's what you're plugged into for the. Yeah. You pictured it too, didn't you? That's yeah. the, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, a meat pocket is your ass. I said prehensile piece. Not prehensile piece. That's the next level of human evolution. Prison wallet? Yeah, prison. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's a prison. Think of an elephant. Oh my god, we're back to the prison wall. Can we just do this too, thing? It always, <laughs> it always goes back, back to the, the prison, prison wall. <laughs> it's something to do with Josh. That is. It, is. it came off with Josh. Uh, it's no, D and D it, wide. It, it was in Deadpool too as well. Yeah. If we had something we to do with the prison wall, we're talking about last week when the prison wall it came up. I want to say this week, which means it had to have been D and D Tuesday. It, it would be Josh's fucking fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would y'all like to do? We are uh, make us money. Going to the, what the money. fuck are those tolls? You know that they're like a. Uh, it sucks that I'm on here. <laughs> they're like a uh, two, three day journey. It's a big fucking city. I'm saying. Well, let's let's keep on. So the iron on. holds is like the main hold, right? And it's it's loosely connected to the tusk hold, yeah, which is where a lot of the half orcs are. That's a little bit of a journey. They have the e y'all are in the east holds right now. Those so are Houston going to New uh, New Jer um, Jersey Village or the, the east holds are close to the iron holds and Wharf Town. West holds a little bit further down, and then you have the dust hold, which is pretty far and deeper into the mountain. Is there a livery stable around here? Because I don't feel like walking. Um, I do. Walking is fun, especially in the forest. I mean, this is a giant mountain. Y'all can. There's forest. Y'all can look for a livery. I don't think I have a livery, so I'm gonna say there's not a livery. Most people just walk around in these mountains. What? You can maybe Start find some walking. goats. And say, can we find some giant goat story? This is a which, hollowed out game, right? Crazy name. Yeah. Most of it's, a lot of it's hollowed out. Like the iron yeah. holds were when the schism cut, and then For the, tomorrow, the right? entryways to these other holds have been yeah. far yeah, over time. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just spitballing. Yeah. Zip lines. Table tops. Well, you do have Roper's Alley, too, which everyone just goes by rope. But connected what, do they just crawl the on the rope like me? It's literally like a big, huge netted area. Like and there's, web? yeah, it's like a spider web that's under the iron holds. And uh, so that's Roper's Alley. That's, you're pretty familiar with that place because that's where the Grey Guild is, which is where you kind of came from. So, and the, what was that, the Roper's Alley? Roper's Alley. And this mountain, this, air, this mountain area there, are they on, like, the holds are on different levels? So, like, one. And then there's the moon holds that are. Like, one <laughs> hole could be, like, higher up on, in the mountain area. Yeah. Than the one. yeah. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here, Pan. Zip lines and table top. Three minutes later, Pan has a very detailed sketch of the table car system connecting the buildings. It was just about. Yes. I mean, just in his book of sketches. Yeah. Maybe a central hub. It's something we could we could uh, hand over to the iron hold the, the Tuscan the Tuscan guys when we're loaded, fund it, and then it will produce revenue from holes to be used for things. I just say I, I think we ran out some. Who's gonna pay for the roads? Taxes. Are we oh. privatizing the roads? This is not my. God damn right. <laughs> I don't care about that. That's Ian talking. What? Just I, I just I just don't want to walk two three days around a mountain. I'm a well, creature of the forest and the plains and the meadows and grasslands and yeah, but there's trees that are all over. So you would rather I mean, take like. The months of time it would take to build this trolley system. <laughs> I would say years. Some the money. Anything. So we should start walking. They yeah, probably have to develop it. The they have to carve out better. so much more of the so mountain. And so by the time the system is done, I'm going to start walking. Everyone will probably be. Dead. I'm walking towards the. It'll be like at least four to five years. 
before something like that would probably happen. Yeah, We're all no, gonna be I'm... dead in four to five years. That yep. sucks. The way D and D goes, baby. The way I DM. Me and Gordon are already walking towards Dust Bowl. So you see fun. Gordon and he, to the mouth like, let's go. I'm going. We'll just walk out of the bar. To the end. Fuck this, man. Let's go. So yeah, just panic, then. Bear with me as we're we're considering we're walking to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is my walk and talk. Are y'all are y'all gonna try and go acquire some large goats? Uh, no, I mean, no. There's no livery stamp around. Need I'm gonna probably find some goats. We don't need smasher and nasher. Pan takes a little bit uh, of rope, ties it to his belt, and then ties it to Starley's belt. And as we're walking, he's not even looking. He's just drawing and planning and nah, catching. Just, and are you ball. being dragged? No, <laughs> you're just. But I'm just. Like he's a guy. Paying just paying so he doesn't get off track, I guess. No, no, once you walk into a tree, okay. he's writing down the bullshit that falls out of Starley's mouth. Okay. Uh, there's occasionally a good idea. He's like, take my memoir. Yeah, well, well, he's walking backwards. I probably <laughs> have my tail holding his tail, dragging no, him. Well, if he's tied, he's, he's probably just like, backwards. he's pulled wherever you know, Starley's is going. Black so. powder thing. Uh, propulsion systems. Jesus, he's jumping up. Solid continue to walk. Y'all are walking? Yeah. Who's Probably. leading? Are they leading the way? No. 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 Well, we left first, so I'm guessing we need Sean. I behind them while I dragged them. I, got sick. I was like, let's go. Yeah. I'm going to Dusk Hole. Yeah, I believe Bombard Bombard we need didn't. to go. Let's go. And then I just started walking. Uh, Bombard's just like, alright. We haven't invented really? black powder yet. I, think I still don't know what that is. Though. I mean, like, I, got, I got a solid idea. I know. So what? I have mixed that with our characters. I don't know what that is. He says we don't know what Bombard is. Like, oh, yeah. It makes sense because our characters don't know what it is either. Y'all did get a like, glimpse, like, because uh, Blomstone <laughs> found, like, a poster of Bombard. Yeah. And I think at one of the ends, they're like, oh, yeah, they were here two weeks ago or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we got a little bit of hints, and then we heard somebody saying that he was an asshole, and then Bomb uh, Blomstone got pissed. Yeah. Wait, are we going to murder Bombard? Bombard's a racist? Well, I, I think mean, all but Blomstone is on on that. Oh, we're finding dead somewhere now. We found you a new boyfriend. It's better for you. <laughs> I mean, smash. <laughs> I mean, it's better. I gotta get smash leveled up for you. I can do sending. I just randomly send love love notes to. Them. <laughs> you know the you know the um, love notes Krogan, magical sending yeah. stones. You know the Krogan um, telling what the Atari. All yes. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna download all that shit. It's like that. We're gonna download it and reskin it so it's not super copyright. <laughs> like the entire western continent of our world? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that one. Characters from Game of Thrones Landing. Game of Thrones. That was the one me and him did. But yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had the entire crew of Firefly. Piloting an, an airship. And it was the airship, yeah. The elemental airship. Yeah. So y'all start to. Uh, y'all pass like the. Uh, the way to the dusk holes has been like torn, quartered off, um, and there's a couple of there's guards post there's guards posted kind of everywhere, but like no way to sneak around. No. But I mean, y'all y'all do have the favor of the king. Yeah, so y'all may mean, be able to use that. We're basically but, uh, told just to go here. Yeah. Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So they're just kind of because they haven't had they haven't had contacts. So they're trying to get in contact with them. It was so. hinted at that we should strongly be here because we can. I don't know, we fuck stuff up in the most wonderful ways. Well, what we... Show him the scroll. That Gordon. sounds like something uh, King Barnabas would have said. I mean, yeah. um, We can reestablish communications. Just to understand, the Iron Hold's not responsible for anything that happens. Do we have to sign a waiver do. before we go? Me telling you it's the waiver. Okay, that, that's... Now, before we commit our forces... To yeah, no endeavor, written consent. I guess it's just a verbal consent. What's going on? We, uh, Let's see if he knows. <laughs> <laughs> or if he's just the guard in front of the gate. Let's see. Or if he's fine. Y'all tell me what kind of role I should do. History? Yeah, or basically like straight wisdom. Wisdom? Intelligence, maybe? That's what I was thinking. Passive perception? Does he know? Right over there! Maybe? There's something that's the whole thing. I think history. Because whatever it's hard to do. Alright, guards. This is a, uh, an older dwarf. Got a, uh, salt and pepper beard. What's it's, his name? Um. Shit. 
<laughs> it's uh <laughs> what is his name <laughs> doesn't matter will art. nope we're not gonna uh, nope <laughs> his name will art jeffrey no will art. Not in this world. True. Doofin. <laughs> He's got a uh, good traditional dwarf. Guard. <laughs> Doofin the dwarf guard, baby. I need to write that down. <laughs> um, kind of. It's, it's kind of darker beard, and then as it gets down to the the ends of it, it it's uh, starts turning gray. Um, bald head. He's sitting there with like you know your standard spear and shield, and he goes, um. Well, there's, uh, we've had rumors of kidnappings in Duskhold. Uh, they're like abducting people. We've had a lot of, um, it's a couple of weeks, like merchant caravans that were going down there. I haven't seen them anymore. Um, and there's always a couple, like, little critters, but most of the time they don't really kind of fucks with you. But, um... Any motherfuckers with hourglasses on the necks? Hourglasses? Ooh, just a little. Um, pants. Pants. Show them a thing. I mean, mm, no. Yeah, was there any reason why the caravans no. were coming down there other up. than just trade? Again, well, they would, flesh. they would go down there for trade. For some reason. Um, and there's just. You didn't scan it. Kind of that haven't come here to. But no other like, has a, reason uh, why there would be a bunch of caravans like, going down there. There wasn't a lot. Like, we, uh, there's. Food yeah. that we have here from Wharf Town that they can't get there. Okay. What? So okay. they'll send fish and uh, import some vegetables and stuff like that that they can't get down there. All they yeah, got down uh, there is like have you seen really any, fun mushrooms. Any big rats? Any fun mushrooms, you say? R O U S S. Huh? Any R O U S S. Rodents R of unusual size. Big fucking rat. Why any would you just rat? use a fucking acronym or whatever that's <laughs> I read it in the book. I got it. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a long and tedious. You some book. kind of fancy. Nimbly, pimbly boy with your with your fancy, fancy words. He is. He is. In the library. Oh shit! Really? Awesome. We have a library. Our library is in Tuscold. If you ever want to check it out. Oh, is it related to the library I work at? What library do you work at? Drive in. Oh, the, that big motherfucker. That big motherfucker. Oh, that's like. With that, that handsome young uh, lady named Plymouth. Oh shit, he's not bad. Uh, I remember that. There you go. Really Thanks, everyone. No. Plymouth is a stray rip off of Dragon Age. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Her entire name is Plymouth, Plymouth Wingard, which is also a stray rip off of Dragon Age. It's just a um, I mean, I they exchange information, not a lot. Uh, they uh, they may have a team participating in the games. That's supposed to be there in Trivan in a couple weeks, but they mainly study like, um, like war techniques and stuff like that. Have to stop by. You see the half orc guard there is like, yeah, because we know what the fuck's up. His name's Poofin. <laughs> so. Poofin and Poofin. No, no, no. no. <laughs> We've already talked about your ability to name That guard's identical twin. Poopin is a male half orc, and the yeah. only weird thing about him is he has like pink, rosy cheeks. Like he puts makeup on his cheeks. Oh, he got a little rouge. Little rouge. That's yeah, what he it is. A lady. That's it. Uh, no, we we'll have to stop by because all information should be traded freely. Yeah. Of course. I don't. Get the fuck out of the holds, you fucking bastard. Um, An interconnected library system, an ascending stone kind of thing. Pneumatic tubes. That's a Real long way. Oh. Oh. Like three and a half oh, weeks of traffic. A really oh, long pneumatic tube. I mean, we got magic. It's a thing. We do. Um, I like the pneumatic tube system that has to run through a mountain. No, uh, uh. No, just have the Futurama tubes. <laughs> For people? Yeah. yeah. I don't think Two rocks there. and quantum entanglement, and then bam, information transfer. What the fuck is that cow talking about, man? I don't know what he's saying. He's on drugs. I can't sell. I'm under oath. Sorry, guys. 
It's religious. Have you got a new business license in the holds yet? Uh, not in the holds. That's why I can't sell. Yeah. And um, uh, some old asshole over in Trivan, mm. one of you guys, <laughs> says I cannot sell to you guys. Specifically, Iron Hold Guards. I got it written down. It's from that Brimside douchebag. That some bitch. That guy's okay. He's okay. I don't think he's fit to be the next ruler of the holds. And then you see. Poofin? <laughs> like, Poofin? Dude's been more. Poofin goes, I never how dare he just switches voices. <laughs> he would be a fucking ruler. Can I do an inside that, check because that's he changed Poofin's voices? thing. He goes, Poofin, he changed his voices. Go ahead and roll an inside check on Poofin. Something like a French legion, uh, uh, a French aristocrat. French people. Oh, that's the exact baby. same role as more uh, theory. Uh, Purely hypothetical. How do you just feel about free elections? Open democracy. <laughs> Completely hypothetical. Oh, wow. Man. Now, now well, that sounds like the opposite of that bullshit communism you were talking about before, but... uh, I guess socialism. So a socialist democracy. How does that sound? That sounds like something that doesn't seven. exist. A seven. You have no idea. <laughs> you got no idea, man. You got no clue. This dude's voice has changed. You're like, oh, that's interesting. The rats, rat, rat, over here, over here. Rats of big unusual rat. size. Yeah, big motherfuckers. No, I mean, no. Maybe prophesying the return of something horrible. Uh, we haven't had a lot of people that have gone and come back. There's been a feller uh, by the name of uh, Miston uh, Sellers. Um, he's been the only one that's gone and come back. Uh, he said there's a uh, a loud shrieking. Thing. Well, shit. I, I don't, don't like know. the sound of that. I don't know what that is. Uh, hey, Gordon, it's the dust cults, huh? Murder. Yes, yeah, dust cults. We need to go there. Uh, motherfucker, we're here. Uh, we're not there yet. Loud shrieking thing. We yes. haven't got into it yet. Doesn't matter. We still gotta go. He was your contact in the Greg. Yeah, that's All why. Right. Like when you said that, I was like, oh, just shit, All right. But yeah, just uh, enter at your own uh, peril. All right. And, uh, How high is the ceiling? Um, Seven. it's like 10, 10 feet, like as y'all go in, there's some spots where you look where it goes up, some spots where it kind of goes down, lower, that kind of thing. The whole, uh, dust holds are like that? No. No, we're not okay. back to dust holds yet. Y'all are, okay. y'all are going through it's together. Tunnel. gotcha. Yes. We're in the entryway, we're in the vestibule. Alright. No, I don't even think we're there, I think we're just at like the fucking gate. It's a little bit of a journey. But yeah, cable cops. Let's go. Move, move, move. Let's walk. Well, we are walking. Well, we I are was, walking. Let us go. Very, very large. What the hell is a car? It's 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 a it's a concept that they it's a covered have. cart. He's been dreaming on his drugs. Let's move. Boys. I mean, it's just what he called a covered cart. He, he called wagon yeah, cars for some reason. Drugs and dream. He just dropped the teeth. You see, pooping. He goes. I don't know if I'm in the. Uh, Spot to give you advice, but one of the phrases I've heard from the local um, sellers of these fine goods is don't get um, high on your own goods. Well, they're wrong. It's called quality assurance, but I will take that into consideration. Yes, thank you. Okay. And then he <laughs> fucking urges you on. Doofing and pooping. <laughs> Plum, baby, you lead the way because you're the biggest, and strongest of us all. Uh, that does not know exactly. Dear not, dear fella, I got you back as always. Where are we going? Plum, some immediately happy. I know that. that. Wait, 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 Everyone roll a Constitution save after okay. Blom stand parts. Okay. Blom stand. Roll a D20 and add your Constitution bottom. <laughs> I got this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Seven. No, oh, God. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Sixteen. I'm used to it. Okay. I was riding in my Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Net. Twenty. Nice. What a useless <laughs> net. I know, right? Nice. You <laughs> like it. It's perfume to you. Blum. Thirty-three. A dirty three. Yeah. So we had a, a three and a seven, and 
Everyone okay. else was above the 15 roll, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got in my eyes. I was 15. I was Matt. Two, four, so, one. <laughs> Gordon Woo. and Pan, y'all were y'all were talking with the guards, and uh, Blom Sam walks in front and just lights it up. Theron, you smell all the time. You naturally just have this great odor about you, since you're originally from the Feywild. You smell yeah. like flowers. Yeah. So like the I fart, smell like fall. Once the fart like gets to you, <laughs> it, just, it mixes with the flowers. And you're like, oh, that's weird. And then it, the fart smell goes away, and then you just smell. Your favorite <laughs> it smells exactly pot. like pot. Yeah. It smells like pot. But pot stinks. I don't know if Farron believes that. I know Sean does. Farron may believe it, too. Yeah. That's... So y'all start making your journey. And, uh, yeah. Who's leading the way? It smells like that pot leaves before though. they're cooked. Woo. I mean, I'm leading the way because I like the, what the plant and it smells like. It gave you a little boost ahead of everyone else. Yeah, well, it affects it everybody like else too. Totally They're all behind. Burned you. and smothered and shit. No, it just smells like the actual plant itself it before like a, it is uh, burned. A pulp plant. Yeah. Like, um, pulp? are you yeah. all talking uh, cabbage fart? Yeah. Yeah. Casually. I mean, Starlight does pretty much everything casually. Okay. Well, I'm saying you're taking the lead. Yeah, and he's just kind of dumbing around, like he's walking straight. Dumbing but... around. <laughs> yeah. All right. Does he walk into a tree? So, uh, no. There's a lot of trees inside he's, the mountain. He's, he's aware um, of the trees. Don't worry, Starly was right behind him. I was gonna... I'll have uh, Starly just give me a, a good old survival check right here. But yeah, anytime he tries to just bonus, off bonus bonus trees. Trees. Oh, bonus trees. Oh, bonus trees. Yeah. yeah. I should have rolled the green dice on the fart. <laughs> Uh, or the brown dice. Yeah. You always roll brown dice for cards. So. That is a nat 20, sir, plus 8. I nat mean, 20, I mean, plus 8 on a survival? Yeah, I got plus 8. Wisdom. Roll a d12 for me. I just realized the Indie Beyond updated, and my skill defender is on my character sheet now. Nice. Yeah, you're good at companions. A 1? A 1. But you have a plus eight on survival. Yeah. You find nine, uh, fun mushrooms. Fun mushrooms? Are they black or just like just general fun, fun mushrooms? Fun mushrooms. I don't know. Nine. Are they sentient? Are they sentient? No, they are not. On a nat twenty, you know that they are not sentient. They are not biting. And Blom saying you're just kind of farting around. Well, cool. he's walking forward. He's going where Starly tells him to go. Yeah, we're heading. Not forward. even tells him, just kind of nudges him. Down like, the path. Uh, like Starly is essentially walking behind him. Blomstone's going first in okay. case something just comes out. You All right. Know? So it's it's about like this. Direction. I'm Andrew Stand Up. Uh, not you. Standing up, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. I'm reading my character. Andrew. Andrew. Trying to remember. Oh. Andrew's blonde sand and Starly is just kind of like this. Now, I got this idea, and that, that's how it's happening. Okay. Starly is just. And then what are you, Gordon? Are you on the other shoulder saying, go What's this way? Go, like, go that way. <laughs> 14. A 14. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're walking, and Ooh, Starly won't shut up. And what are y'all doing? I'm behind Blomtown trying to tell him, go that way. Like, trying to I mean, isn't this sort of get like us going the right way. that we're in still? It is, but like, you know, as y'all kind of get a couple hours out, it gets a little bit more rugged. Oh. There's little dips and turns, not like divergent paths. Nothing too crazy like that. But um, as y'all kind of get further, uh, Blomstan, uh, you're about to like put your foot down. And something kicks in and tells you to look down, and you see a rope just there, and you see two stakes in the ground. Mm -hmm. That's a trap. Trap? Mm. Well, why'd we stop? What, what's going on? Uh, 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 uh. Rope between. That's the worst fucking trap I've ever done seen. <laughs> It's not a very good trap. Well, it's just there to trip. <laughs> but since y'all been talking, or it's a very good trap, and they put it there to walk you around. Um, to the other like, come on out, assholes! We know you're here. 
Since y'all are just all kind of talking, you're going to, you don't trip the trap, but let's see. I can't remember what the hell I had. We're marveling at the horribleness of this trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, you yeah. this that's trap. the beauty of this trap. simple <laughs> trap. It's so <laughs> simple, you're just like, look how dumb you this trap is. You gotta tell them or, to put his foot down, a, he's getting tired. This trap I'll get up, is a trap on the other Not trap the that is leading oh, up. Oh, damn it! <laughs> it's a distraction <laughs> trap. It's a distraction <laughs> trap that leads to the real yeah, trap. Yeah, the trap work is intended. We ax out. You're like, look at how dumb these fucks Something are. Something fucking stupid is about to happen to somebody else. Where are the uh, the candies? Are they in the room? Oh, okay. All right. No, no, no. I have a box. The candies? The candies. The box I used the two weeks. All the nerds. Yeah, that's the, uh... yeah like somebody else did. Who got all the nerds on the floor? Hey, the bag Damn it, in the John. Chat. See, even I like those ones. Better than yeah. They're like s'mores. I love the clusters. The Didn't want yeah. to try s'mores? Man, those are... Uh, the clusters, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. stuffed marshmallows. I, uh, I went and bought another bag because there was a fight on the weekend. And I went out to go get snacks and I'm like, grabbed it, ate it. So good. We'll, we'll pick some up when we go back to the store, hon, right? Yeah. Refill my, my enemy jars and just make sure there's a good variety. Man, those nerds clusters, though, man. Every time I audit the gas station, I see them, I'm like, uh, oh. Yeah, anytime I see them, I'm like, I gotta grab it. Yeah. They're just so good. Uh, y'all can kind of put yourselves on the, the pizza thing. Uh, where are we coming from? Uh, it's everywhere. Outside. Over here? Yeah. And Blommy's in fronts. In fronties. And I'm like... I'm behind... Here. You. Southern pervert. So I'm guessing I'll probably back. Cheer. No, no. Sean. You're probably behind. Did you say the sun? No, I'm behind Blomstan. Remember, I said I uh, I yeah. was like right behind Blomstan saying, go this way, go that way. Yeah. And also, me and Sean were leading first, and then Blomstan's like yeah, now. Did you say the whatever. Southern Pervert? Yes. Because yes. that's the vibes I get off the Fucking early. magical. Also, do y'all have the Jenga things? Oh, yeah. They're in the, uh, they're in the room. I'm basically from the Southeast, not that far south. Not that far, Right next I mean, to the, that's, the cooler. That's the similarity between uh, Starleaf and James. Southern pervert. <laughs> uh, you want to fight this? Lime rind. No. Okay. No, you, you put that thing back. We need, <laughs> we need, we need an air cobra. Jesus Christ. Huh? We need an air cobra. They nerfed it. You can't do that anymore. Yeah. What was that thing? No, fuck that. What's that what's was what? a Tarrasque. Oh, that was a Tarrasque? That was a Tarrasque. They nerfed what though? The Aracopra. Uh, they've changed their flight speed. Right. Yeah. Why do we need to take all this? Yep. The acid. It heals them. them. Yep. Heals them. We can't take broken damage, and it heals them, and they get to punch its uh, insides over there. I would just DM magic that and be like, oh. It's gonna take forever to punch through a Jurassic. Mm hmm. I'm trying to do these by type, but. And y'all can uh, go ahead and roll initiative as well. Uh, Blonde Stan, what was your initiative, bud? 11. 11. Starleaf, initiative? Uh, 14, sir. 14, Lil' Key? 20. Saren? 11. 15. Uh, what's your dex? Take your deviled eggs, right? Yeah. Uh, 19. But, and, uh, your dex is 19? After you boil them, okay. we sit them in pickle juice for a week. You're probably faster than Blonde. So you see, it was magical. as Blomstein is about to put his foot crazy. down, the knot on the rope, Blomba baby, and get your axe out because something stupid's about to So happen. as he does that, he puts his foot down, and then two spears are going to come barreling towards Blomby. But not even on the rope? Huh? He didn't put it on the rope. Correct. It was an ambush. Oh. Y'all were y'all were distracted talking about how stupid the trap was, and it worked perfectly. Because <laughs> y'all were talking, so the trap was more fun stuff. So y'all avoided the trap, but y'all were talking the whole time. I like that, Ian. That's good. You said you were talking. That's... I was talking. Blomstown was. Y'all are like right. Y'all are all within like yeah. ten feet of each other, bro. Yeah. You and actually listen to Pan me. were talking, right? <laughs> no, I was just rambling. Oh. That's how Blom. That's how Starlight does. Yeah, we're all like right next. Yeah, to we were all talking about it. Like me. Terrible you... idea. We all That's listen. <laughs> I wasn't really listening to you, remember? I was the one saying it's such a good trap that they put a trap over on the other side of the trap. So this was the decoy trap, and then we have Does the 17 hit Blonde Stan? I don't think it does. Blonde Stan's pretty buff. 
What's that AC, Blimey? No. What's your AC? Is it 18? Are you adding plus one for your uh, underwear? 56. Huh? 56? No, your <laughs> HP, babe. Right, no, not your AC. HP, your AC. AC. On the left side over there. 15. You had your underwear that gave you plus one. So your AC is 16. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Just keep a note of that. Uh, so you do get hit with one of these spears Crap. that is chucked at you. You guys should have continued to lead. I have 17. For, uh... Oh, well. I'm pretty squishy. Oh, shit. Wrong place. Yes. That. I get I get that was weird. How'd that even... I'm a robot. How'd that happen twice? I'm a robot. How'd that happen twice? <laughs> you twice? The dice went into the hole of the dice tower, <laughs> and it jumped out... <laughs> of the whole of the dice tower and that went down the okay you have, yeah, you, have a problem. you have a problem with that don't you <laughs> in and out baby three whole damage to you blom stan wow uh, that spear just kind of <laughs> yeah it like hits what like hell? as no, soon as you put your foot down like the spear in like in hits in you in your big toe and does three whole damage to you and now it is loki's turn that was their kind of ambush well, okay, what you see um, are these like lizard looking kind of peoples. Um, they are. Uh, Is there a marker? They're not kobolds, because oh, yeah. oh. that would be too easy. And it, it's just as easy. These are called troglodytes. Oh, yeah. So they got big old claws, they're carrying oh, yeah. spears. They're not as cute. Um, oh, so that's not the, the fossil. It's an actual creature. Yeah. Damn. No, we're fighting a bunch of fossils. <laughs> I think those are celebrites. Fuck me. Yeah, I think probably. <laughs> Something. Laugh like that. That was Nelson. That wasn't even Blomstone. Blomstone no, would have been like. <laughs> <laughs> so you did laugh. Okay. I mean, I demonstrated the laugh. Blomstone is, in fact, sniffling a little bit because his toe got hurt. Yeah, his dumb toe. <laughs> These motherfuckers. We part Hurt my boy. Um, the different colors are different types. The, uh, the yellows are kind of skinnier, more light. The orange are kind of your standard. And the red one's a little bit bigger. Got a little bit more meat on his bones. And we're able to see all of them, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, I don't see any trees, so I'm assuming... There are no trees. You're in like a tunnel. So instead of green, that's all brown. But there you go. Okay. I wanted to use this cool pizza card. I haven't made a cave one yet. Get on it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, we have we have the um, buy me a pizza one. pan and I'll make a cable. I'll buy you a pizza pan. But yeah, I approached an orange closest we're... gentleman. Okay, and what do you say to him? I'm just kidding. What would you like to do? Well, because I, uh, I believe they're, they're um, up to no good. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're going to um, let's see. This is a monk. So, isn't it a key point? What are you trying to do? Um, you got multi-attack, use a key point to do... Uh, spend the key point to snap his head. Flurry of blows and hit him two more times, I think. I, yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna unarm strike, I guess. With, um... So you're gonna punch a bitch and then hit him again. Yeah. A couple more times. Yeah. I mean... Okay. For a flurry of blows, I guess. Well... See if you can hit him first. Yeah, let's let's get He's that. He's feeling squirrely. So he's doing this with his clothes. It, with with <laughs> with the uh, uh, among, I assume that uh, I can call I the key point after I know I yeah. struck. Okay, kind of like the what it was the fighters. Yeah, the paladin okay. smite stuff. Yeah. Yes. Or you you want to know you landed it before you you called. Well, the flurry blows just gives you more attacks. see uh 11 11 does that get past his armor class it does oh wow it does oh way. so the, we're gonna spend the we'll roll the damage first okay battle time 
<laughs> okay, that's uh, to turn on the battle music. Four. Four damage. Yep. Okay. With one strike, I guess. Okay. Then you can do so. You have extra attack at fifth level, and then you can do flurry of blows if you want to use the key point. Okay. So you have five of those every short rest. Okay. So uh, that was the first hand. We're going to see if the second hand hits. That and then correct. the Flurry of Blows is what, an extra blow? Yeah. I'll check so, the battle levels. 16, 20, so. Uh, Definitely hits. Yeah. Where are you punching him? <laughs> I think the uh, first strike would have been the solar plexus. Face mm -hmm. under. Oh, that's the lake. Uh, I'm gonna go with the next Tennessee. one going for a throat punch. Yeah, just work my way up. <laughs> These things are like as tall or a little bit shorter, shorter than you. What was my height on this one? Oh, I'm six four. Oh, they're shorter than you. Okay. Yeah, they're like four to five feet tall. Well, down. Yeah. Just. Oh, so I'm probably just punching this dude in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing you, just punching you. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting anyway, yourself. The, second, the second strike gets um six points. Six points of damage. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I guess the, the we're spending the key point for one more blow. All right. I guess. I can't remember if Flurry is one or two more strikes. I can't remember. It might be two more, but I can't. At a level five. I can't you remember. had that monk character you played for so long. I thought you remembered. I didn't, I didn't play Guinness that much. Uh, it, yeah, I, it does, the description on my sheet just says uh, Flurry of Blows after attack action. Well, I'm pulling it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From a PHB or something. Okay, and uh, 11 for this strike. 11 hits? Okay. I know you get at least one more. So this is this is the third strike at the moment. Mm -hmm. That is 7 points. 7 points. Make that... Uh, immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Two unarmed, so you get two more. You did seven? No, what? Yeah, that's seven more points. All right, that dude drops. All right. <laughs> and, like, you kind of finish this dude off with a kick, and then you actually strike the uh, second one. Uh, okay, awesome. so the last blow is going to go towards... Are you doing cleave damage? Yeah, I want to do cleave damage. Yeah. Ah, All right, let's cleave damage. damage. I only I have the last blow to, uh, to the prime. Yeah. I think one. That definitely fucking hits. Give Lil' Kate some shine here. Fucking killing motherfucker. Five. Five damage after that. That one's still up, but not by a lot. Um. Alright, next up in the order mm. is the yellows. The yellow belly guys. The lemon back guys. Like, just watch this demon punch the shit out there. Yeah. <laughs> In my head, they sound like Kevin Black. Oh, that is worst so element. irritating, his voice. Oh. And pompous as all get out in that pit. You see the, uh, the two yellows were like, blah, blah, blah. they didn't like that. Blark? Blark, 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 blah, 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 blah. They're just running up on you. Um, they didn't think that was cool, man. Uh, and they are going to, one of them, uh, they both basically try to, as you finish your kick, before you lower your leg, they're both trying to bite you in the, in the leg. Fucking ankle biters. An oh, nat 20. Are they biting, oh, yeah. bite. are they biting the plant leg or the leg that's in the air? They're biting the leg that has not landed yet. They're like grabbing me out of the air. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as you finish your kick on that second one, he stumbles back, and before you put your legs on the ground, one of them comes up, grabs your leg, and just chomps into it. Uh, and it does, since we played Brutal Critical, baby, it does... I agree. Uh, nine well, damage. Be the standard. Brutal, How are you doing brutal, there? Brutal Critical. Critical. It should just be the standard rule. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was critical, cleave damage. 
super advantage, hyper advantage should all be standard. Yeah. I think I'll take another one of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> super advantage, ultra advantage. And then it's second attack, it's a 12. I don't think that hits you. No, that one does not. Okay. And then the other one that ran up. Is an 11. That misses. That misses. With its bite. Now it's going to try and jab you with its spear. It got like a 12 again. No. So that one got really good on your arm, but the rest of them. The second guy is too traumatized by his buddies getting killed. <laughs> uh, Orange over there, since you're near him, is going to take some attacks at you. Ugh. What does he do? Oh, go ahead and make a uh, constitution saving throw, Loki. Probably not good. Uh, nine. A nine. You were poisoned. Oh, that, until he goes again. So you have disadvantage on uh, attack rolls and uh, ability checks, I believe. Um, until it's his turn again. And then he... <laughs> hits his foot. Yeah, damn near <laughs> close. That was a big six. Ooh, that might hit. That is a... 17? For me? Yes. yes. Okay. Rock a little bit. Oh, damn. Uh, six damage. And then one more. Yeah. I can't believe they make that many attacks. Another 17. Yeah, that hits. Four. Oh, God damn. Four damage. How you doing, Loki? 22. He kind of puffs up after that. He's like, that was made like six points and then four points, so a total of ten points yeah. off for that set for of that, For that points. guy, yeah. He kind of puffs his chest up after getting some damage. He feels pretty proud of helping his friend. The, uh, I'm near bloody. Shit, I I'm, forgot. I'm a one or two points away from being These guys, bloody. as a free action, can disengage, but they don't have any movement. So, shouldn't have said that out loud, but oh well. Uh... <laughs> He can get there. I'll say he can get there. They're going after Blom Stan. That's a good thing. <laughs> they don't, well, they do know that because he's the biggest fucker there. Blom Stan oh, well, picks no, it up and throws it, it against the big red what? one. I don't think I have to Never mind. Is a good charge. Punt the motherfucker. You, she has charger, but yeah, they're already up there. 12 to hit misses. Yours is 16, right? That's what we established. Right. Okay. That misses. 13, that misses. He runs up, doesn't do well. The other one's going to run up. Miss. Miss. Jeez. Meets it, beats it. He got the 16 with his claw. And you take uh, 6 damage. Somehow I have a recipe for poison. Oh, y'all bought that from a uh, two and a half wing alchemical. Still the best store name ever. <laughs> anyway, <That's a> good <laughs> thank you, uh, Gordon. Your turn, buddy. Okay. The big one's just sitting back there. Oh, he's a big one, is he? The red's a big one. All right. <laughs> you can probably get to that guy just fine. Okay, can I get like behind him with thirty movement? Um, From here to here to flank. You'd have to use your dash for your. Uh, oh, wait. Action. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I have a bonus action. I could do that with a bonus action as yeah. a rogue, right? Yes. Okay. So you get there with your dash. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do the cunning action, dash, bonus action, get behind okay. them. And then I'm going to attack the orange guy okay. 
with the oh, mine. Oh, place stands there for movement and stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. And do I get flanking on that guy? Yeah, you have advantage. I have advantage. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the enchanted yeah, so silver rapier. Stonework. This would have looked kind of more inside cave. Good thing I got advantage because one of those was a it's five, gonna... but one of them. Even with your attack, it's the five on the main Oh really? Maybe. Okay, well the other one was a sixteen so, plus seven, so over twenty. Bags. But you know, since we're kind of in the cave. And that is one d eight yeah. plus four. Well, I can make a cave one. It wouldn't be hard to do. I just need another piece of paper. That's a three plus four, so Star storm? seven. Seven damage, damage. yeah. I've worked. Okay. They need On the orange guy. Good, but they're not enough. And then like that. plus your roll your, your sneak attack. Oh, oh, wait. I, I didn't realize so flanking gets sneak attack. Uh, yeah, the great bottom. And so your like enemy's attacking, balls. so you have it anyway. They're not that. Oh, okay, cool. Um, also Walmart. So. I forgot sneak attack. Yeah. That depends on your level, attacks. right? Yeah. Dollar general. You can I think I wrote it down somewhere what it is. Extra ones, and those look really good if you can find them. I think it's too deep. I think they're like. I want to say those ones are like six bucks. Sure, I wrote it down somewhere. Andrew needs but they were pizza pan. Like, pan. You have a stone one, don't you, Tom? Uh, huh? Andrew needs another needed, pizza uh, pan for this. Do you have a stone one, don't you? use a nice stone pizza pan. Well, look, I do, but I use it for cooking pizza. You use that for your cheese pizza. Yeah. I use that for my Dijon. Yeah, I just need these cheap Walmart ones. When I met Walmart buying them, uh, I was looking through different pizza pans, and some random Walmart that wanted to talk to me, like I wanted to talk to him, was like, oh, you're making pizza, huh? Like, oh, no. no. I'm turning them into terrain pieces, like for like model miniatures, like train stuff. Not quite, but we'll build the bag. <laughs> it sucked. Right. This is the one I wrote this. I wrote this down. No, I think those are too good quality. Yeah, no, I just need. Yeah, I think this is a cheap one. It was like five or six dollars. Pretty sure. It's it's well, what we would get at Ace Mart would be the pizza circles for the park. But even that yeah. might be too soggy by the end of it. So you have to make them go straight. Yeah? You got some Mountain Dew? Good thing I looked it up. I was going to do 2d6. It's actually 3d6 at level 5. I need to write that down. But anyways, so sneak attack damage, 3d6. Two high rolls and one low. Five and four, that's nine plus one, so ten damage. Ten extra damage on top of the seven I did with the so you come in, and how do you kill that that troglodyte? Uh, I guess I come in behind him with my rapier, I guess, and I just, I guess, come up around him and like behead him with See, the rapier. Rapiers don't do that. Or a split a throat. <laughs> that is a motherfucker <laughs> of a rapier. And you know what? You did enough damage that you fucking beheaded him with a rapier. I've got a rapier that might be able to do it, but it's not going to fucking do it. And then you do a little flourish and just gash into the uh, the yellow one and just wreck him too. Oh, he's fuck yeah. Too. Oh, he's, he's, not, dead. Dead. he's not dead? Okay. You yeah. said wreck him. I thought you meant... No, you fucking him. wrecked him. Because you had... Lots of leftover damage there. Um, alrighty. That was Gordon Pan. Papa Pan! I don't think I can. Can I make it to the right guy? We really need a ruler. Do you want to use these? Yeah, that can work. I don't want to make it to the right guy. Okay. I use the, the, the base as my, my pan. The red guy is game. holding a uh, big-ass fucking club. No, I can't make it. Yeah, just use those there as like the, the yeah. scale. Yeah. Yeah, because each one of these is ten feet. Or five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. Yeah, yeah. That's thirty feet. But so I yeah. can make it here. Yeah. So bonus action summon Reese. Here. Oh, oh Reese. Um <laughs> Reese, Got about I, Reese. I choose you. <laughs> um, you hear into the distance faintly the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> I wanna be the baby. That's and we're of nerds. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna attack that guy twice in the back with advantage. With my raging. Nice. These little poor guys. They attacked us first. There it, is no four. Dirty twenty. They even set up a trap. Dirty twenty. It was a terrible trap. trap ever. <laughs> I like my explaining that y'all spent so much time talking about how dumb this trap was that they got they got the spring on you. And a fourteen for the that video. was good. Uh, both hit. Okay. So. You said a dirty twenty and a fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, that's both hit.
19 points total. 19 Jeez. total. Uh, yeah. That <laughs> one's gone. Uh, and the other one ain't looking great. And then Reese is going to use his attack. Uh, force and power to Reese a free action? Um, or we just assume he's out. I can't well, I the bonus action to summon him, but it doesn't tell me no. that I have to use a bonus action to make him attack. I would think it, it would. I'm guessing it's like it's basically like a summon. I know with I know with the Drake Warden, you have to use your bonus action to have him do something besides dodge. But that's with the Drake Warden, so I don't yeah. know how that works with the Steel Defender. But that's fine. He can attack. We're gonna get bogged down in the rules. Yeah. He, he, with, and with like druids, if you summon something, don't they go? They have like a turn as well. It's uh, if anything like Baldur's Gate three, they would go at the very or, or they go on your turn. But like I can't remember. They usually know. I have too many yeah. characters, and it's hard to. Oh, no, good. Do the attack, man. Um, right. I'll, I'll look it up between. We'll get bogged down in it. So I just, I, I just know that's how the the Drake Warden works. Yes. That twenty. Okay. Um. So. Sixteen points of damage. Yeah, big yeah. old mechanical. Those guys are both gone. gone. Somebody can eat both orange points if they want. The orange, the orange are gone. Oh, please. So yeah, yeah, his attack is force empowered. Rin. I want. I think I want to rename that uh, force yeah. empowered Thor. Anyone else want the other one? No. But yeah, I'll look up the steel defender stats. Did I have the lowest initiative roll? No. No, no I didn't. Did. No, wait, uh, no, I had a shitty other roll. I was thinking of the three. Yeah, your initiative was a fifteen. Yeah. Uh, Starleaf, it is your turn. Okay. There we go. And then it's there. I'm going to... And then it's... The guy that's probably... I'm going to make a big motion of casting Spiritual Weapon. It's at... I mean, at least 60 feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're good. The pot leaf! <laughs> so, that is a... He needs to make a Wisdom save. DC is 16. Wisdom save? Oh, sorry. Wrong you're doing thing. a spell attack. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. That's your bonus action. Bonus action. Hang yeah. on. Yeah. I think script love is great. Sixteen. Sixteen? Hit? Oh. This guy's naked almost. He's just got a lot more meat on him. Okay, you were right. Um so yeah, he can takes a turn immediately after mine. He can use his reaction on his own, but the only action it can take is dodge unless it is my bonus action. Okay. I think later on it changes. Um, it might be. I can't remember. There's a lot. I figured it would be like the Drake Warden. Yeah. Because I think so. that's how a lot of the summons go. So next time we know, I can't summon and attack within the same round. Oh, yeah. really? Because uh, the way that he did the, the ring, it's a bonus action to summon him. Yeah. Mm. 12 damage with my spiritual weapon. Okay. And while I'm making that big fuss of my spiritual weapon, I put my hand inside my doublet or my, my robe. And grab the orb mm -hmm. and use its power to cast Dissonant Whisper Plus. Okay. So that's that. a that's a spell. So you can't do that. Oh, okay. So the way bonus action spells work is the second spell has to be a cantrip. Oh, so it is a spell. Like, it's not just like an orb that can go Correct. blah, 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 blah. Correct. Okay, it just doesn't use your slots. Anyway, okay, then. Um, I yeah, I wasn't sure how the orb was going to work. Yeah. So I, I want to try something. Cantrip is awesome. You can uh, think you your plane. Think I don't think you have that line of sight for a cantrip though. Maybe yeah, the yellow. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm going to right now. Yeah, I'm not okay. So yeah, I'm gonna Ooh. boom and sacred flame that yellow. It's a deck save, right? Okay. Uh, the DC is... Uh, he succeeded. Nat 20. Motherfucker. Oh, damn. You actually... No, I'm just kidding. That would be terrible. You actually take damage. He did so well. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that was Starleaf. Theron, baby! Okay. Uh, quick question. Okay. I have attack and extra attack, but then I was also going to cast Hunter's Mark, but Hunter's Mark is a first level spell, so I wouldn't be able to do that, right? Because Hunter's Mark is a bonus action. Okay. So you can Hunter's Mark and then attack, attack. Okay, so I can do that. Yes. All right. So I'm going to Hunter's Mark the red one. Okay. Do we got the cool little, little things? Oh, uh, that 
status markers or no? They are, where are they? Either on the actual stools oh, or they are on the... Uh, Should have done cleave with these guys. I guess it's serving its purpose because y'all are cleaving fucking right through. <laughs> And then I just add in D6 to the damage, right? If you hit, yeah. I just mark those. No, it's not. Yeah, it did. Oh, I think it's in the box next to you again. Is it? It might be. He's been no. adding to Andrew's box. Oh, oh, Andrew's box. This box. You just want me to look inside Andrew's box? <laughs> so a plus one longbow. How do yeah. I do that shit? It just adds plus one to attacks. To damage. attacks, okay. He's not He's doing some looking on um, my artificer stuff. Uh, at level 11, I think, I get spell storing at him. And unfortunately, I cannot use it to store shield. Good. Okay. Only spell that uh, has a casting time of one action, and the shield is a reaction. Yeah. I can fill it full of things like rope trick and invisibility and cure wounds. There you go. So it says 1d8 plus 5, so the plus 5 would be, that'd be the damage, but what's the hit? Can you imagine 8 free cure wounds a day? Because 8, it's my intelligence modifier times 2, which by that point it was just, uh, It doesn't have a plus 18. 1 longbow, so I added it in there, so now I gotta go fucking add a regular longbow to see what my damage is. Hey, what is that that gives you that? Uh, spell story added. What's your proficiency bonus on your next one? With a Next mod would be a plus four. Plus four. Your proficiency is plus three. So plus seven and then plus eight. So it's plus eight to hit. Plus eight to hit. Okay. Holy shit. So which means when I get it. That's a seventeen plus eight. That is. Alright. That's the poor naked, naked lizard man. That's the red one I'm targeting. Yep. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. And you said anybody can use it? Yeah, I can get it like, and, it does, and it can be any, any spell that I have There's a first second. So I can put, yeah. like, invisibility in it. <coughs> that's a seven there. Now let me add the hunter's mark damage, which is a D6. Can and can change out those spells or once you set them, they're set. And that's yeah, another I can, I can change them out, one, so that's... Eight damage? Eight damage, yeah. Double check, but I think I can okay. add, do it once a day. And now I'm going to do it again because extra attack. 11 plus 8, so that's that 19. <laughs> Finish a long rest. Yeah. Oh, 8, 5, 6, seven. that's 10 plus the. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, 1 damage on the Hunter's Mark, so 11, 11 damage. Oh, oh no. Your wounds <laughs> healing and 5D is broken and kind of pointless. I mean, I've got these good berries that. Yeah, but I can't cast them. Sorry, you just take a level man. one dip into Druid or something? That's true. Well, yeah, that has to be an artificer stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Are you any movement or anything? You just kind of stand so back. Just kind of stand oh, back. Guys. Oh. All right. I got to get a... I really, even better. I don't even have to have the spell prepared. Really? It's just a spell off the list. Nice. That's dope. It's so broken. Okay. <laughs> so, y'all did pretty good. Um... <laughs> the brute's not having a good time. There's one guy that's unhit. He is going to uh, attack. Did Blomstein go already? Nope. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, because oh, he, he goes the, the right after me. There's a giant axe that needs to be swung at you. <laughs> that's Blomstein. Go ahead and go. <laughs> I can't remember what the fucking brute... Oh, uh, the brute rolled a 10 to. That's why he's down there. There he goes. Blomstein, your turn. I regular the yellow Y'all, that's what I'm doing. Alright. I got the red bat. I'm gonna swing a great axe. You're gonna rage? <laughs> no. no. Alright. Mm. Holding back the rage. So. What are you looking for? It's in the... In there on the console. Fifteen. Yeah, it is. There's right. no way this guy's a <laughs> He's at full health, but there's just no way this guy's <laughs> I mean, she doesn't even need to roll, you can call it now. No, I'm just kidding. He might survive the first strike. Probably won't survive the first strike. <laughs> He's gonna be like, 
They kind of look like Randall from Monster Team. <laughs> oh, that's actually perfect because they can kind of blend in too. Oh, sorry. That was a. Uh, um, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. That was a dirty 20. Yeah, it's so nice. It's a dirty 20. Is that considered a brutal critical if it's a dirty 20? No, no it's not even a regular critical. 13. 13 damage? Only a few even yeah. give you the 19 yeah. as a critical port yeah. part. And that's a natural. Yeah, one. Uh, well, that's why you have to specify dirty twenty to basically say, "Hey, this was not a." You do some harvesting. Yeah, I don't know if trockies are in there. Yeah. They might be there. Do you pay, you pay for the harvesting supplement, and then I? Oh, paid, I want you to use it very much. And then I paid a lot to have it printed, and spent a lot of time putting it in these little paint trackers. I'm using it. <laughs> Good. I'm just seeing what I have to roll and everything. What's your second attack? You get two attacks, or miss, miss, miss. Well, I'll swing at it again, yeah, you know. Or burn. Oh, I'll swing it at it. <laughs> I'm gonna we spin around for anyone. Wee wee. That's a twenty-two. And it still hits. And the turn winding up. <laughs> and it's damn. Well, I mean, if you would have kept the green eye slammer. Oh. <laughs> uh, seven for that. Oh, we see you. Oh, we survived. Oh, we see you. Wow, really? Oh, really? He doesn't no. have it. That was the one that hadn't been hurt yet. Oh, okay. That was the only one that hadn't been hurt yet. He gave it to somebody. Are these, are they uh, beasts or... Well, we got to see on top of the battle. They're actually considered any human. It's like an immortal oh. weapon. He can just... That's Oops. crazy. They taste the vibe of my axe. I can't believe it. There you go. I want to know what that thing is. The, uh... <laughs> the brute, the big red one, there is a path that leads down this way and uh, kind of where he's angled at and you just hear him go and he just looks it that way. He's fucking Just like that fuck. other character that Ian has that's running away. He's like, no, but he does roar so you don't know what that means. Keep in mind, pot leaf there just spinning yeah. menacingly. Uh, I'm going to put Reese next to the pot leaf so just so they can guard that. Tunnel. You do have a uh, hunter's mark. I do have a hunter's so, mark. Oh, you do. Yeah. With his full dash, he was. I believe it's let's see. ninety feet. I think it's how far it'll track. I can't get a crossbow shot off on him, can I? Hmm. Can't get a crossbow shot off on him when he's running, can I? He would be. Yeah, it's ninety feet. It'd be, uh, long range, I think. Well, 31 20, so. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely in long range. He was eating. Did you put him back on there? <laughs> <laughs> he put another one on there. He already ate him. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, well, the, two, the two yellows are like, oh. Uh, <laughs> and they're going to do what they can do. That is a That's a fact. That is a fifteen against Loki. Damn baby. Beach. Fact. Uh that it damn, six damage? Oh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> for taking one! Yeah. Uh, Hi how you doing? How you doing, babe? Yeah, we're uh we're at uh that's a miss on the second attack. Because you've still got two more fucking Six, attacks to deal with. 16. And then oh. the other one is going to go... That's an 18 against Loki. Oh, 18 hits. For <laughs> five damage. They annoyed at you. <laughs> and a dirty 20. Oh, you just punched Lord. your boy to death. Uh, and <laughs> they didn't like, like that. Their favorite they didn't like that. <laughs> uh, for another four damage on that. After they do that, they take the disengage action, and uh, they're like, "Oh God!" Seven point, uh, seven points left of health. At forty-one. So there are they. And they basically attacked, and now they're running. They're following the red guy. Oh, well, they took disengage. Shit. And they're not yeah, by combat range, so I can't you know. get. Well, they took disengage, so uh, you wouldn't have an attack anyway. Yeah. Oh God! Oh God! Right into a giant spinning saw blade hotly. 
Yeah. Oh, you know what? How much damage did you just take? I can't read my initiative tracker. I forgot they had a little... I went from 22 to 7. Jeez. So, 15 damage? Yeah. Go ahead and give yourself back the 15 damage. Okay. And take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I've done that twice already. Well, in that area. Yeah, they were like over here. So it is your turn. So punch another one to death and... <laughs> and then they go. They're both... Uh, one of them looks... The one next to Blomstan looks significantly more fucked up than the one right next to you, but you they're both in your attack radius, so. Just do that thing where you jump up in the air, spin, and split kick them. Yeah, there you go. Well, we're going to do the, um, um, unarmed strike. Okay. Get those, those couple of strikes in, and then... If we're doing good, we'll spend the key point for the flurry of blows. Let's see where we go. That is 15. 15 hits? Yay. Which one are you hitting? The hurt one or the less hurt one? Hurt one. The hurt one. Okay. So the hurt one first. But why? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh. For a whopping two points of damage. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> Here goes. Hand. He's like bleeding like this weird like ichor. His tongue's kind of hanging out. He's like, oh. 11 yeah. points of dan or 11 points for AC. 11 does not hit. He blocks it with his tongue. He's like, <laughs> get I mean, did you just do flurry blows? Yeah, well, yeah. spend the key point for, well, two more. That was my, uh, my main hand yeah. to offhand. And then the flurry oh. of blows will give me two more uh, attacks. That hits Rex. Spinning it again? Another yeah. key point. You got three left. Yep. That is a dirty 20. That hits. Yay. This poor guy. <laughs> the hurt one again? Yes. Okay. Six. Nice. He's gone. All right. And then that second attack. That last, the very last attack does not hit because that is a nine. Nine does not hit, but as you fucking broke the jaw of that other one, you finished your heel kick and got a little bit on that last one. Now it's Yellow's turn, <laughs> and I think that's the one that can't hit for shit, so we'll you'll see. probably be fine. Oh, nope, that's a dirty 20 <laughs> and a 17. So you, still, you still take two hits. Four. I got gotcha. you. You're fine. We're nine damage instead of 15, though. So okay. I can fix all of this. Then he's going to dash and get to the end of the tiles. Run right into my fucking spinning giant pot leaf of death. He goes, out of that. All the regular troglodytes are dead. Uh, Gordon, your turn. Okay. I was going to go up to the big brute, but now that guy's trying to get away. But he's technically off the pot. Yeah, Red's not. Yeah, he's not in. Yeah. Um. I mean, maybe. Yeah, but Sean has him hunter mar hunter's marked, right? He is. So he can tell me basically where he's at mm -hmm. as of now. Um. Names. Do it, and I can use 60 to try to get closer. Um. I guess what I, I could try to shoot that dude with my short bow. Okay. That's the guy that's running away. All right. He's yeah, but from where you're at, he's already, what, 60 feet off the board? No, he's like 40. Yeah. 40. He's talking about so the that, yellow guy. That's probably 10. Oh, the yellow guy. Okay, 20, I thought you were 30, talking about the 40, board. yeah. It's 40. Do you have a crossbow? A uh, short bow, but it says range 80 slash 320, oh, yeah, so 80 would good. be, yeah. Um, And that's... Yeah, yeah, plus six on the hit if I do. I mean, plus six to hit. No, you do, and you don't have to maps. You just do easy combat. And then it takes like two hours. Good. Uh, I think that's going to hit. Uh, that, that, well, that will hit, actually. Uh, I did have this planned out. 16 plus six. So. That hits. Yeah. All right. So that is 1d6 plus three. No sneak attack. Okay. Uh, good thing it was a pretty high roll. Um, Over three, at least. 
uh, four plus three, so five, six, seven damage on him. You basically, like, the arrow goes into, like, his arm, and it just falls like wood. And he's just still trying to run. He drops his spear, and is just trying to book it now. Damn. So he doesn't have a spear anymore. Oh, so he but falls an eight. He's still up, though? Yeah, he's still up. Okay. Three parts. Well, two. now I'm going to use... <laughs> I'm going to use my dash and bonus action thing to do the 60 feet, right? Did you use any movement? No. So you can move for 30? Move for 30. And then if you want, you can and... use your bonus action to dash. Okay. So this is roughly 10, huh? Yeah. Okay, so... 10, 20, 30, mm -hmm. uh, 40, 50, 60. If I got here, would I still be able to see that guy, the red guy? Um, Roll a perception check. Okay. Well, are you running up there definitively? I was going to, like, obviously not in that choose. guy's range. I, need but... to look, you, I can't say yes, you can see him oh, okay. unless you commit to running up there. Okay, yeah, I'm running up there. All so right. uh, I run up here. Okay. And... Do I see that guy? So, oh, purse. I know we're not, we don't have like tiles up, but Where you I would say you could run around the yellow guy and not get the attack of opportunity. That, that's basically what I was trying to do, is okay, avoid right. yeah, the attack of opportunity. You're good, you're good. So. You're up there. Yeah. Roll and then perception, perception check. check. Uh, oh, dang. I, forgot. I haven't played this character in a long time. I'm really good in perception. But that's a terrible roll. <laughs> Hopefully it's good enough. Uh, and I don't have any inspiration, so... Uh, 3 plus 7, 10. A 10. Yes. <laughs> you can see, like, a little tail. So you're saying he's still there. Still, like, barely an barely eyesight. Barely... Oh, you don't have dark vision. Don't? Furbolg's not have dark Furbolg. vision. You okay. cannot see him. Okay. Here, because I meant to ask, what time of day is this, then? You're in a mountain cave. There's, oh. like, very We're little... There's like tiny little. I mean, he picked all the bioluminescent, super cool mushrooms off the wall. So. Mm -hmm. I'm glowing like a goddamn torch. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm a, a, a ladrin, so I can see. You can see this. Yeah. Uh, Pan, your turn. Um. Right in the barn. No. Uh, I'm getting. Pan pulls out his harvesting book and gets excited, and that's his action. Uh, <laughs> he's just there, book in one hand, large knife in the other. Yes. Uh, so this guy's still here? No. 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 Oh, just this guy? Yeah. Oh, he's in the right. Probably. <laughs> he's got a limp arm. Um, a two attack? With an arrow in it. Well, I went oh, to wow, the club that's too a two arm. Arm. <laughs> I know, the cleave just made it so much easier. <laughs> but cleave's fun, I like cleave. Well, for the first one. You're all right. Yeah, this is the troglodyte's arm. I'm just acting. Oh, what is it? He has an arrow through it. Right? Twelve hits, yeah. And then. Wait, the just kidding. Hold on. It was a twelve to hit. Yeah. Oh no, then this. No, oh, my second one's a nineteen. So. That hits. Uh, <laughs> His arm is like twitching, and you slash to cut it off, but it twitches out of the way. <laughs> uh, I was hoping he would have cut his arm off, and then he got. Oh, no, I did not He's see done. that coming. <laughs> If you want to do anything spicy, you, you, you certainly can. Um, I just want to Spartan kick him back into uh, Reese's horn. Yeah. Boy. So this lizard with this limp arm takes the stab to the gut, looks over, is bracing. You see Pan do, like, this fucking kick. Little lizard man goes up in the air a little bit. As he's flying through the air. You see his skin kind of change a little bit, trying to blend in with, like, the background, and then just... Blah, and it turns to gold. Like uh, Reese spear, and then he does turn gold, and he's just uh, he looks like a what do they fucking call the hood ornament <laughs> on Reese, and you just hear <laughs> kind of further down the way. We are technically out of combat, um, but uh, Starleaf, do you want to do anything? Uh, he is way too far away, isn't he? He's like 90, yeah, 90 feet right now. That's right where it says the range of the hunter's mark is. Right. I mean, but is he standing no, there like, are you like were... definitely flipping us off? Or no, you just hear him. I, I could have firebolted him. Yeah, so I uh, dissipate the spiritual weapon and I cast Goodberry. Uh, okay. If we're out of combat, can we still chase him? Yeah, I'm just going through one more round. Okay. 
So he gets a little bit And, uh, up. yeah, I hand uh, a bunch of berries off to Loki. Okay. Hey, did did you want this? Points? Did you want that? I mean, need okay. how many do you need? Let's take how many do you need. I, I went from 41 down to 13. Well, what is take, take what you need. Uh, Theron, your the turn. <laughs> so take what many of you It's like Which right on the cusp of your hunter's mark range, if you want to follow or not. I mean, I am yeah, using a longbow, so I think I've got... Even, range to you know, fire on them this far back. What's the no, range on the long yeah. I believe it's like three or well, yeah, 150, but at disadvantage, it's 600 so it's feet. I was about to say my range on my short bow was 80. Yeah. So, so I mean, what's the short range? 150 feet. What's the long range? 320. 600. Jesus, eight rings. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> give me. Longbow? You're gonna jump. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a perception check. Perception check. With advantage because you're a hunter. Like, if you're just like, uh, you just have to beat a 10. Beat a 10? Okay. Yeah. First one's a 3, the second one is an 11. So. Alright, you see him. Oh. Alright. Can... I'm just wondering, was it a 10 for me too for the perception? Because I, I got a 10, so that would. But the, I would have been you missed didn't by have the one. Dark oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. But if, you wouldn't have been able to see him at all. No, I mean, even though with the 10, even if I was, if I had dark vision, if it was a 10, I wouldn't yeah. be able to see it. No, if you had the 10, you would have seen it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I thought tie would be, means I wouldn't yeah. be able to see it. Oh, now it's showing the hit slash I DC so. for the fucking yeah. longbow. It wasn't showing at the that yeah. time. Now it says plus 10 to hit. So, I don't know what that's all about. It would be your efficiency plus your dex plus 1. Yeah, because, so my dex is a 19, so that'd be plus 4. Yeah. You said proficiency is, what, a 3? Three? 3, so that's plus 7. And yeah. then plus 1 is... Plus 8. But yeah. it shows on here, plus 10. So yeah. I don't I don't know where they're getting that extra piece. Are you a fighting style archer? Yeah. That's so, why. Because I'm a ranger. Okay, so yeah. Then so that's I, plus 10 to hit, then. So then it's a 16. 16 hits? Okay. So you just lob an arrow at this motherfucker as he's pushing away. What do your elvish eyes see? <laughs> Dead trauma <laughs> Very possible. Uh, ten damage. Ten. Yeah. You're gonna. <laughs> That's not what your mom said last night, baby. <laughs> and I'm gonna do extra attack and fire away again. <laughs> What's up, Terry? Shoot her. Uh, that would be a fifteen plus ten, so a twenty-five to hit. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Do it again. So what happens is you just put all your focus into one weapon. <laughs> the Rangers. Name. That is a six plus five. Okay. How does how does this look? What do your <laughs> elvish eyes see as you unload on this poor lizard? Are you arcing it? So yeah. It's the top of the cave. <laughs> no. And then a rock falls No, no, no. It's the ricochet shot. He aimed to hit the top of the cave and then bounce it and hit him. <laughs> he he lays on the ground. Yeah, like, we had to be a chat. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, oh, that's Terry. What's up, Terry? Uh, so, yeah. I aim up just enough to or won't hit the roof, but to get the arc to make it go the distance. It bounces off all the slime. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's, it's like it a magic like arrow. It looks like it's for sure gonna miss, yeah. and then it hits the stalactite, and then right into his fucking back of his head. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> totally on purpose. Beep. 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 They thought it was cool, so you did it again. <laughs> so you hear that thing, and you start hearing like all kinds of animalistic, weird lizard noises. Is what y'all hear. So there's probably a bunch of them. Let's go. But I'm guessing now he's dead? Now he is dead. If you want to eat him again. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody else had? I've got a couple more of these berries. I First thing first, because I've been waiting pot. literally months I'm, I to do this. I, I need I've my dagger. One, one, one of these guys, because he said I had one more body. Yeah, one, one more body. Something happened. Okay. Oh, they're, not, baby, they're not worth much. Terry uh, dislocated his shoulder at the gym, and now it's making the same noise that your knees make or whatever. Oh, that's and yeah, uh, Terry, it's just my Did right knee, damage? but yeah, I know what you mean. Ugh, yeah. that shit sucks, man. Did you take any damage? Yeah, I'm about to go get an MRI on my knee and my elbow here in the next couple you. months. Um, was it just Loki and Blom Sand? Huh? And I think so. So here's two berries. 
Since you killed that first one, they just said no, and they all went after you. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, anybody else want a very good berry? Because they're very good berries. How long do those last? Like an hour? 24 hours. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So you can just yeah, you, you can pocket them too. Uh, before no. we go to before we rest, you should use all of your spell slots to cast good berry. Uh, yep. And I can get it again. And then you get them all in the morning, and we can just stock up on a bunch of good berries. Also, uh, apparently they changed it. You can upcast good berry. Yeah. You didn't used to be able to upcast. But yeah, before we go to bed, you should use all your spell slots. And you mean upcast, you mean just go at a higher level? Yeah, it it does one more point of healing for every level above first. Jesus. Oh. That's what the upcast meant? Yeah. I cast Goodberry at level 2. Oh, five points. He did one too many lap pull downs. It's popped down. You gotta know your limits, man! That's ridiculous. And then that's 24 hours, so you should use them before you do a long rest. That's all your spell thoughts you have, just cash them out. And then right. really when I go to the gym, man, unless you have an asshole GM who would do like a uh, nighttime attack, well, so you would have all those good berries. We have. I don't even count reps health. anymore, man. Oh, I just go true. until failure. Eh, I can just spell magic, baby. That's true. You can. But we also I won't in these tunnels. We also Not can't now. be surprised because Reese can't be surprised. Nice. Nice. And between Reese and uh, Albert. And I'm also only at the gym for like 45 minutes. I'm a so utility character, so... I like it. And if I'm asleep, I can just like heal some people just because. Oh, uh, with your dream stuff. Uh, Are you going to harvest? I'm going to have my dagger eat one very first thing before I start okay. harvesting. Um, that never gets As it eats it, which one do you eat? Um, the biggest one currently available to me. That's the one of the regular yellow. trogs. The yellow ones were skinnier. They didn't have so. much meat on their bones. They're more light. So you get one of the regular trogs yeah. and you just fucking carve it up. The body goes into the dagger. Um, roll me an arcana check. I mean, that's some weird shit, man. I'm well, it didn't turn into a pile of rats. I could see that, time, though. That's some you weird know, shit. It's always better to, like, if you Well, can, the rats come out. a lot more rats. Oh, well, yeah, that's still uh, happening. Uh, 21. Yeah. Uh, 21. Okay. Uh, I always try and do four sets of something, but just I don't count the rats. Yeah. Uh, what weapon do you want this uh, dagger to turn into? Um, what finesse? I, yeah, I need a what finesse weapon because I'm using rapier right now, and I think rapier is the best finesse weapon I can get. So I'm gonna go with the rapier. Okay, so it turns into a. Uh, the dagger wasn't a plus one before. Now it's a plus one rapier. Nice. And it gets three more okay. charges. So six charges total. Six charges total, and it maintains the throne property with the dagger. So you could chuck it if you want. <laughs> yeah. That's you can awesome. throw the rapier. It does the rapier damage. Oh. <laughs> it does the return with the charge uh, expenditure as well. Um, but it is malleable. How many more bodies does it need to eat to turn into something even worse? Who knows, man? Uh, Who knows? Okay. Uh, so it. Just saying that this yeah. troglodyte's litter in this field. It has. It did charges. use all its charges to eat the one corpse. Yeah. So it's done for the day. Uh, so does it still have uh, basically the same one charge return after the throne, uh, two charges, one d four uh, magical physical, rat damage. Yeah, extra rat damage. Yeah, and then three charges to consume a corpse. Yes. Okay. And but now it does rapier damage. So now it does rapier damage from a d four to a d eight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice. I think that's the best finesse weapon I could get. I think it is. I oh. think the rapier is the top one. Which is surprising because it's still pretty cheap. So there's a UA feat called Spear Mastery. And if you were able to make that thing into a spear, it doesn't do as much damage, but you can get a range of 15 feet. I mean, that's I'm not reach. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably up close to you back up Reese, anyways. This character's built for, like, I know, close like combat. Oh. Um, okay, I'll get all that punched what into Gene and Beyond um, and send to you to double check, make sure I didn't mess up anything mm -hmm. and add to my stats. Cool. Um, did it recharge the. Uh, the charges are expended. For okay, so, so after a long rest, I'll get them back. Yes. So, uh, anybody else curious about what this very obviously trap does? No, like, I'm I good. Just... <laughs> uh, you want to step on the string? No, I'm not gonna step on. It. I'm just like I'm gonna stand way over here and have Blama Baby pick up one of these trogs and throw it at the rope and see what happens. Well, but isn't uh, Pan uh, harvesting? Huh? Uh, it, are you sure he's done around. with his research? That's not. I mean, there's yeah, y'all just saw Pan pull out this dagger <laughs> that he's that he used on that wear rat on the farm, and it just morphs. I mean, that was weird. I mean, a pristine looking 
rapier. And kind of cool. The hilt is a rat head. Like a, a head or a skull? It's a rat head. So it's furry? No? Yeah, that's how, oh, yeah. No, it's that, like the yeah, we like normal, to like it up. the, uh... Uh, I'm gonna DM at some point. I you know how they I'm have the, do. uh... What is it in Game of Thrones where he has the wolf's head? Kind oh, of so it's the pommel, not the... The pommel's the a rat. Pommel. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. And it's like... Will it though? <laughs> that means I can drop enhanced weapon on my other right here and get a, a new rat Adam fusion. Rat Adam. 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 And it trips and it just goes. The whole bunch of clanking things. Oh, it's like I the cobalt trap I said. Yeah. Oh, uh, I had this trap months ago, Andrew. Okay. <laughs> so y'all activated the trap. So I can try to harvest them. It's uh, gonna be a DC 15 medicine. Terry says try out or check out the Scion, the, it's a really good yeah, tabletop no, RPG really system. Do you know that one? Yeah. I've never even heard of it. It'll take care RPG systems all over the place. I don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah. We're, not, we're not proficient yet. Okay. We're not proficient. I can roll for it. I get a plus one, so I feel 14. I don't make it. Okay. It's okay. They we'll will... do this by subset. So, so that's one group. There's okay. two. Well, unless you want to run down the hallway to get the red one, mm. you can do a one more, one more run. I'm going to do one more. Do I, I need to get another red one? Nope, didn't make that one either. Okay. It's fine. Okay. They're basically worthless. They were fucking this rule. Um, yeah, so... Just for reference, um, I went through the, the Gorgon parts that we found, the end parts, the Manfor parts. Those are all worth, uh, let's see, 20 gold, 40 gold, 80 gold. These are worth 8 silver each. Nice. These are worthless. Is it just like bile or something? Uh, no, it's struggle that I hide. You can't craft with it. All you can do is sell it. Um, and it's worth 8 silver pieces. So Woo! I'm not upset. A little bit below the pay grade. Which is really weird that it's a DC 15 for 8 silver. I'm pretty sure I don't know what the, Zion is. Uh, like everyone who plays as children the of God. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What is it like? Uh, Greek? Well, yeah. Y'all see, um, y'all see where they, where, where old boy was trying to run to. Uh, you heard noises. Uh, it's, uh, it's run or nut up or whatever y'all want to do. Uh, run for it. You guessing that's the way that we need to go to, to get to Dust Bowl? Roll a uh, roll the survival check. It's been a little bit, so roll it with advantage. It's been a little bit. My new sword, the tomb. Yes or no? The dagger wasn't a tomb. <laughs> it's been a long time. You have a shit ton of slots, right? Not yet. Right now, still, still... have three. Oh, man. Roll, uh, roll another Arcana check. Uh, we'll just put it up on a dice. Not one on the nature check. Plus one. Or no, that I mean, could be I mean way to dust survival plus two. That's probably that. Natural 20 for a 26. Not attuned yet. Wait, yet? Not attuned it yet. Get better. It can get better. I still say we can head towards those fucking creatures. You, uh, so... Y'all have no reason to doubt it. Gordon has been to Duskhold. And that's the way. It's the same way the troglodytes work. I remember right, that's the way where they were going. Boy, it's a terrible I mean, there's a lot of noises of uh, grumbling lizards coming from that it way. Runs on the yeah, they're probably trying to stop us from oh, getting we there, but we gotta go. Cool all the time. Like James said in one of our other campaigns, you hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. I mean, you let me blow up a height and disintegrate a man without even rolling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not rolling cool. I'm just <laughs> yeah, so you definitively believe 100%, and they have no reason to doubt you, since you're the only one that's really been there. Yeah. That is the way. Yeah. Let's we'll keep going, then. Remember, right, that's the way. We just gotta go keep fighting through these guys. You would not believe the... I just, I'm, I'm doing the math. If I didn't use any spells for a day, and cast every slot to that good berry, mm -hmm. the amount of healing is ridiculous. Yes. Especially with your life cleric, fucking. It's, uh, I've got four spell slots. Yeah, yeah. Ten berries. Yeah. Uh, That's each one is four. So four 40. times four times ten. Hmm. No, it's uh, uh forty times 60. four. 
Oh, damn. 160 healing. At level 2. Jesus. Oh, 5. But all times 10, times 3. Yeah. But also, according to rules as written, it takes a full action to eat one bear. Yeah. So it's great between fights and during fights. But it's the most efficient way to heal in 5e. Healing's level broken. Three. Yeah. So. At level 3, I've got 2 slots. Uh -huh. 10 berries. 6 points each. Yeah. That's a lot of healing, man. What do you think I'm going to do with Mayhem? Oh, that's awesome. That is a block. I'm going to be healing him. In that uh, Odin thing, or Zion uh, thing, he played as a child of Morgan and jumped Ten. on a frost giant's shoulders and ripped its head off. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, do you all want to keep going, or do you all want to stop here? It's like 1040. Yeah, yeah. I'd say we just call it here. You don't want to call it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Now, let me see if those people that rated us last time say third streaming maybe we can rate yeah them. maybe we could just rate them because yeah. they rated us last week with terry or yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 terry's like all right i'm going to watch this one i guess <laughs> can i call terry scary terry sure if you i want. mean that's he's like I'm unless he has it. something against it uh, if he does that just makes him scarier terry <laughs> i don't think they're on they're not i need to follow them on my personal so i can yeah. see how they work wait are they Prince of Angel might be on. Well, thanks for tuning in to this fun little combat romp. Hang on, let's and see. Uh, yeah, what do y'all? What do y'all? How does this do work? She's, I think she's streaming right now. How does this work? Um, I think I have to type in the chat That's like backslash raid. Five. How much is it? I did it once. What? what? <laughs> Terry said, I was in the army. You're not going to call me anything that will offend me. If oh. I use... Because I, I was saying, like, you said, uh, can I call him... I'm like, like as long as he doesn't... I call him a pussy? <laughs> if I use well, that would be terrible to call someone who's in the country. But also think about it, most of the time you're not going to have all of your slots because... Yeah. Oh, wow, it looks like he's space. doing some sort of D&D math. Yeah, they're Locked doing uh, a yeah, Pathfinder, Mummy's yeah, Math. Yeah, for, yeah, like well, call, they're doing some kind of D&D thing. You're going to get a third of that here to your call. Yeah, here we go. But still, Start but, yeah. Back yeah, to raid, point followed point by the name of the channel you wish to raid. So I guess everyone's healed because of the good berry. <laughs> so everyone's like, healed. God, just you keep doing? your spots. No. Spells no, no, I'm going to type yeah, it in, and no. I'm not going to And uh, like, all right, later. We can do this next week and then switch back to Star Wars? It's, yeah, because yeah, uh, next be, week, I we're going to be at Comic Palooza. Oh, okay. So the following mm -hmm. week, yeah. yeah. Or we can wrap up. I got, if y'all want to wrap this arc up, Probably I can get y'all to like maybe three or four more. Then we can go back if y'all want. I just needed uh now that I know what to what to expect, I know I can just read a few a little bit after work every day, so I yeah. know I could be caught up. I just like to do it the day before for just being fresh, mm -hmm. but with that being the case, I'll just have to do it after work every day. So But yeah, I'd be down to the if time is out. Huh? Yeah, uh I was just waiting for us to finish and then I'm gonna raid Curse of Angel. Go raid him. All right. See y'all later, Thanks, Thanks everyone. for watching. Uh, Angel raided us last week. Go check her out. She's doing some D&D &D stuff. There you go. Good berry jelly. No, I think we got to give it, like, good berry preserve. 30 seconds or so. I think so. It does a countdown. See, like, 3, 29, two, 28, four, 27, 26, 30 hits. 25. Later. Later, y'all.